OK， 啊，戴团长、赖教授，你知道吗 ？OK，Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 我还我在吗？你好 ，See you。大家早安，在现场，在日本，在香港，在韩国的朋友，今天我们在东亚，呃，这个一个小时的差距呢，哈，呃，有些比较早，有些比较晚，呃，能够在这边。空中跟现场相会，真的是非常不容易。It's a very unique opportunity to get together, not only on site but also online. And、uh, this is the first forum for the East Asian Music Circle. And、uh, the title of the conference, 第一届东亚乐派论坛 is Taiwan Cover Via East Asia New Performance Style Post COVID-19. And I think the,、uh, this event is going to help us to overcome the COVID-19, physically, biologically, mentally, and also mentally. Most important, mentally. 希望通过这一次第一届东亚乐派论坛的会议，让我们聚在一起，用音乐把我们变得更健康、更强大、更快乐、更幸福。那我今天我是张武修 ，I'm Peter Chen， 呃、uh, ，professor in medical school， and also former national ambassador in Taiwan。我先前的办公室在这个隔壁检察院，啊、uh, ，因为有一个很好的机会可以跟大家认识，也跟大家学习音乐文化教育。啊、uh, ，我非常荣幸今天有机会来帮大家服务，让今天的论坛能够非常顺利。啊，今天在座的现场有非常多非常重要的学者、专家、代表、意见领袖、跟艺术家、啊、创作家，还有、啊、音乐学的教授。我个人非常非常荣幸有机会在这边跟你们啊一起相处。那、啊、因为我们的这个节目的非常丰富 ，We have a very heavy program， 嗯、uh, ，all day， all day。And、uh, even the open is also very heavy. I mean, very serious open. So、uh, I would like to invite the first、uh, speaker, but also the host, and also the、uh, the team leader of the、uh, Taipei I E,、uh, Professor Li Luoqian. And、uh, Professor Li Luoqian is the former minister in the National Science Council. He is Qian Qian. 国科会的主任委员，现在又回来国科会了啊！科技部现在变成国科会。And he is also the president of Taipei Theatre Harmonic Orchestra. He's a very respectable, esteemed professor in science and also in humanity and culture.、Uh, I would like to give my microphone and let's welcome. 呃，我们欢迎呃，罗院士，罗团长。罗教授，先生好。啊，大会主席张武修教授，啊，还有昆岛部长，还有金龟代表，还有这个从香港的林大志乐团主席，还有我们外交部的。陆军省专门的一个，还有我们的乐团的啊同事啊,啊，所以除了我刚刚讲几位以外，我也要向乐坛东亚乐坛的大师前辈们啊，还有今天的一个啊问好，早安，各位早安。首先我要感谢。在韩国、日本、台湾、香港，深具影响力的长官、作曲家、学者、专家们，能够在今天的大会中，将以各自的专业领域发表精辟的论述
，让这次大会在质疑量上将会有丰硕的成果啊！我预计是有非常好的成果。各位的一家之言，先知昨天，自至今期，必将在东亚音乐圈树立典范。东亚管弦乐团在近年的长，已已有长足的进步，已经让欧美乐界刮目相看。那我们当然会继续努力。那最后呢，我要再次感谢各位的参与，你对论坛的贡献，预祝二零二二年东亚乐派论坛圆满成功。感谢各位，谢谢各位。非常感谢李团长、李院士、李主委，还有我的李老师，啊，非常这个为大家祝福，啊，提出今天欢迎，的呃，开幕致辞。那接下来我来邀请，也是跟我啊坐在对面的日本日方代表。这个春岛玉带，呃，部长，呃，你是一个有木拉西嘛？那、嗯、么他目前，呃，是担任日本台湾交流协会台北事务所新闻文化部的部长。She's the Secretary General in the Cultural Affairs and Public Relationship Department, Taipei Office, Japan Taiwan Exchange Association. And she's very welcome to come with us on the same side. Today, 跟我们一起在一起，呃，这个我们一起来欢迎这个春岛部长。詹姆斯主席，民国前主委，大家阿后各位主席，大家早安。今天非常开心，受邀参加第一届东亚乐队的乐队比赛，也非常感谢爱姐、爱姐啊、爱李文图前团长的邀请。我本身是日本外文系的学员，而我其实完全是音乐素人，当然也从未学过学呃，从未机会学习过音乐。那我想，音乐可以让人感受幸福的重要因素。音乐可以超越国境，让语言连接人与人的心。今天的论坛有来自来台湾、香港、韩国、日本的音乐家、音乐专家，很强盛，相信相信一定会是一场超越国境、让语言非常棒的音乐交流盛会。我我以。啊啊！一点的素人的身份，在这在这次的时代，时代的对对，让让我来来到后，工作之后，之后爱以及我们走走路，并邀请参加多场音乐音乐音会，从中来来访访，谢谢邀请我参加，今天呢，我相当于最好我们日本台湾交流协会最在在我们活动中的音乐要素以及期待以及我们的发表。大家一起认识、学习、学习各种音乐的新花招。我想先欢迎一下音乐的各位老师们，让让疫情中音乐发挥了很大的作用。我看今天两位啊，香港的发表人，还来自香港的发表人，两位的这个目的，就是就是一起把音乐融入到一起来。那再次谢谢啊，请请请注意注意，今天的会场也蛮好，我们也祝各位身体健康，万事如意，谢谢大家。那接下来是呃，陈导道长的开幕致辞，待会我们会介绍其他与会者。啊、呃！但是我接下来要邀请一位非常重要的代表。I'm going to introduce a very important speaker. Uh, this morning is uh, uh, 我们韩国这个的代表金圭一啊 ，Miss Q E Kim. 
啊，金代表是韩国世界韩人贸易协会 OKTA 台湾支持的代表。啊、uh, ，Mr. Kim is the president of the Taiwan branch of the Korea World Korean Trade Association OKTA. And、uh, we are very lucky he is with us in Taipei this morning. And so let's、uh, give him big hand to welcome. Thank you. 또한 상호 방문 감격 수가 연간 200만 명의 이상이며 3위에 해당합니다. 이것은 서로에게 절실하고 중요성이 더욱 나날이 높아가고 있다는 것입니다. 지난 행사를 되돌아보면 한국과 대만은 서로 어렸을 때 보았던 역사를 가지고 있습니다. 이것은 진정한 친구라고 생각합니다. 이번 문화부가 주최하는 동아시아 음악 부름 주요 목적은 동아시아의 음악의 교류와 협력을 촉진한다는 것입니다. 나아가 음악 연주가 및 관련 전문가들의 수준을 한층 더 높이기 위함이라고 알고 있습니다. 2021년에는 코비드 나이트로 인해서 화상 온라인 일을 대체적으로 알고 있으며 올해 이렇게 정책적으로 제1의 음악 부름을 개최하게 되어 또한 내년에는 2차 회의는 오프라인으로 직접 서울을 방문하여 진행한다고 들었습니다. 한층 높은 수준의 발전하기를 기원합니다. 한국음악협회 이철구 이사장님 및 일본, 홍콩, 대만 유명한 음악계 인사들 초대해서 문화부 및 참여 인사들과 인정을 받게 되었습니다. 다시 한번 어, 축하를 진심으로 축하드리며 어, 내년에 열리는 서울 세계 최대는 음악회 타이페이 필하모닉 오케스트라 연주에 성공을 기원합니다. 감사합니다. <웃음> 
have heard the hopeful news that in the near future of next year, at the second forum, we are anticipating that we have the honor to meet everyone in the venue offline in the visit of Seoul. I hereby hope with this new forum and wishing our better development of the Music Society of East Asia. I have also I have also had a great opportunity to invite the president of Itaipu and the uh, and the Nepal music musical celebrities and musicologists of Japan, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, and was admitted from the acquaintance of the administration of culture. Today, 2022, I will celebrate the, the celebrate the smooth operation of the of the conducted events of today, the first forum of the of the East Asian music and and I would like to oh, I'd like to introduce the president Lee Tarbo. He has represent he has represent a he has represented a poem which is representing the mutual culture and the aspects of Taiwan and Korea. Which is going to be held in in the Taipei National Music Theatre by the Taipei Philharmonic Orchestra in the in the next year of the twelfth in the next year of the second day of the December in Seoul. Thank you very much. Very important message. Uh, the, the uh, so uh, next, I would like to invite a uh, very important uh, friend and partner, uh, Mr. Richard Yen, Yen Dazi Zhuxi. Yen Dazi Zhuxi is the Qian Xiangang Zhuxi Da Xie Ba Xian Yue Dui Da Xi, and the Baker Da 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 Yen Zhuxi, now in the stage. Uh, Mr. Richard Yen is the former chairman of City University Field Harmonic Orchestra in Hong Kong. Actually, actually Richard, I visited the uh, university a few times. I have very, very good and very, very good uh, experience uh, in your campus. And so this morning, uh, let's welcome Mr. Richard Yen. Hey, thanks, Professor Zhang. Um, this is Richard from Hong Kong. Um, so good morning, um, everyone, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, guests of owners, um, the organizer, as well as the uh, organizing committee. Um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to join this event. I know um, this event has been organizing for over one year. I attend the uh, organizing meeting last year, and we are all uh, working very hard to make today's event happen. And finally, it happens. Um, I'm really excited to be part of it. Um, I know it's just a start um, as a forum to let every music lovers, professional uh, musicians and other um, composers to come together um, to share their passion um, in classical music, especially in orchestral music. Um, I really appreciate this opportunity and, you know, the epidemic situation um, across the world um, make everything in a really messy uh, situation, especially in our performance arts. Um, I really hope with the release of those uh, quarantine measures and other epidemic preventive measures, uh, we can open up our doors. So we can gather together um, in person instead of online to have forums or even performance together. We know we're sharing similar cultures, but bringing our own unique characters together to make diversity, inclusion um, work in Asia. So it brings a better music, a better world. 
here. Thank you, everyone. Looking forward for the great um, sharing from all of you, no matter where you come from. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Richard. I hope uh, you can be with us uh, very soon. See each other again. Uh, the main speakers, the many of the speakers, you have a lot of speakers who are in the The first, uh, would like to introduce uh, key uh, speakers, uh, Mr. Li Zhe Chu Gu uh, from Korea. It's, it's Mr. Li. Uh, ah, good morning. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Mr. Lee, good morning. President of the Music Association of Korea. Yes. You want to say a few words? Okay, mm. uh, Good morning. Yeah, 회장님, 안녕하세요. 혹시... 혹시 발표 나누시기 전에 하시고 싶은 말씀 있으신가요? 어, 그냥 간단하게 인사한 말로 예. 안녕하세요. 오늘 이렇게 동아시아 포럼을 타이, 예, 대만에서 준비해 주신 거에 대해서 아주 진심으로 깊은 감사를 드립니다. Good morning everyone. I'd like to show my great gratitude to conduct this forum in Taiwan. 아, 특별히 저하고 그 그동안 많은 관계를 가졌던 라이 단장님 그리고 안국세 박사님을 화면으로 직접 보니까 너무 반갑습니다. And it is very great to see the the it is very great to see the president Lai and Dr. Tai working together for for a timely period of time. 또한 어, 이 대만 포럼을 이렇게 어, 준비해 주시고 이 동아시아의 어, 중심적인 포럼이 될수 있도록 준비해 주신 어, 이 대만 포럼의 모든 관계자에게 감사드리며 어, 최대한 한국에서 하늘 역할을 제가 잘 준비해서 같이 할수 있는 음, 일들을 많이 찾아보고 또 이런 것들을 확대해 나가도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. And I would like to show my appreciation and great and very gratitude to the everyone related who have contributed to conducting this great event. And also, I I will try. I will be expecting that I will try my best to look for the opportunities which can expand the expand the development of the East Asian music. Thank you very Thank you much. Very much. Thank, you. Thank you so much. I would like to invite uh, Mr. Koji Morishita. Uh, he is the, the concert master of Osaka Symphony Orchestra. Orchestra. Is, uh, is, uh, Mr. Koji, I would like to invite Mr. Koji Morishita. Since I see Hello, this is Koji Morishita from Japan, and I'm so grateful to be here. And um, I miss Taiwan, and it is a great opportunity for opportunity for us to um, communicate like this. And um, yeah. thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, readings. Uh, next. Professor, uh, Miss Zhong Inpyeong, uh, 
He's the president of the Council for Asian Musicology. Chen Renpin, is in attendance. Uh, can I invite uh, Ms. Chong Yip Ping? Chong Yip Ping. Chong Yip Ping. Chong Yip Ping. 어, 저희 발표 시간인가요? 네, 전인경 회장님 안녕하세요. 발표하시기 전에 혹시 나누고 싶은 말씀 있으신가요? 네, 예, 안녕하십니까. 어, 한국의 어, 전인경입니다. 오늘 이렇게 대만에서 굉장히 큰 노력을 하셔서 어, 이렇게 어, 아시아 여러 나라 사람들이 의견을 나누고 앞으로 음악 발전을 위해서 어, 의견을 이렇게 진행하게 될수 있어서 대단히 기쁘고 이번 기회가 우리 어, 한중일 음악 발전에 큰 기여가 될 것으로 생각합니다. 감사합니다. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone. I'm Tony Kyung, and I like to I like to show my I like to show I like to express my delightful feeling of 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 attending this great opportunity, which I expect this will be contribute. Contribute a great amount of development of Asian, the East Asia Music Society. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, I will now invite two guests. One is Mr. Chong Yipping. Mr. Chong Yipping is the president of the Asian Music Society of the United States. He is the president of the Asian Music Society. 我们自己人，所以没有时间让你解释。我们一起欢迎顾组长。各位大家好，我是外交部杨汉斯。呃，郑梦远，我姓顾。呃，今天呃也是还是台湾日本关系协会的一个组长。所以今天很荣幸能在
台湾的余道昌教授，余教授是否在现场？他在线上 ，OK。呃，余教授在现在在线上吗？那、啊、我们可以请您讲几句话吗，教授？余教授。教授有没有在线上？好，如果还等一下的话，我们再。那我们还有台北爱乐期刊责任编辑、国立台湾艺术大学的老师于俊伦老师。啊啊，于当然是的。啊，于老师讲几句话。你刚刚呃没有看到，你把口罩拿下来，所以一下子没有注意到。李老师，请。呃，各位贵宾，大家，大家好。非常荣幸，呃，受邀参加这一次的会，呃，这个东亚论坛，呃，希望各位今天都能够，呃，在这个论坛里面有非常多的收获，也也祝大家身体健康，谢谢。谢谢啊，李、呃、老师。在先前，我有很多的机会跟他一起来准备这个会议，非常感谢。那以下我们已经介绍过严大厦主席，接着我们邀请啊，国立台湾艺术大学音乐系的教授兼作曲家钟耀光教授，钟教授。介绍一些台湾的国宝，台湾大家感觉会把钱收入，谢谢。呃，钟老师身兼香港跟台湾两个身份，非常欢迎。那我以下介绍这个啊、呃，台南应用科技大学黄普堂教授啊、呃、，Professor 胡汤芳，黄普堂教授是否在现场？啊，是，啊，是跟我。是，谢谢，谢谢，非常感谢黄教授。那呃，这个我接着介绍啊，我的一个好朋友啊，如果今天没有他的努力，我们这个会议也大概啊没有进办法进行。哎，我三十二年前在 Boston， 我在哈佛当学生的时候 ，as a student g r a d u a t e student Harvard， I I find one person is running ahead of me， 他跑步是在我前面，我一直想跟。Because he ran in a marathon in Harvard campus, and that is the professor Wen Hu Lai. And now I'm still after him. Hi, Wen Hu 教授，请跟我们讲几句话。啊，麦克风 ，please。啊，各位好朋友，今天非常高兴。啊 ，Good morning, everyone. 啊、uh, ，I would like to say thank you for everyone to join. My dream as a Tonga Yuan. How did it start? Ah, I just want to say that this year, Taipei Music Festival in Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, and Taiwan was the first to perform. We also held the two festivals in Japan. Ah, yeah. 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 呃，想法啊，就自然就形成了呃，东亚乐的一个交流啊。那我想透过这样的交流，也许我们可以创造一个属于我们这个东亚地区的音乐，那大家可以互相的提升啊。今天非常高兴，谢谢大家来参加，谢谢，祝大会成功。谢谢赖教授，呃 ，You raise me up。<笑>你提升了我们很多，包括我自己的很多精神层面。呃，这个应该四年前，我还在监察院工作的时候，有机会跟戴团长、呃、乐团到韩国首尔，在那个乐乐天的、呃、音乐堂，非常非常漂亮。这是我第一次啊、呃，跟着一个专业的乐团一起到国外
，我没有做任何的演出，我只有努力的这样。但是呃，我让我是 little kid， 我很小的时候就很喜欢音乐，我是学校的嗯、呃、这个口琴 orchestra 的这个、呃、这个主要的 member， 一直到 high school 我一直都很喜欢。那教授给我一个机会重新再追随他，在音乐上的努力。那我们今天还有现场几位哈，包括这个我们的刘家浩，呃，音乐老师，呃，刘老师是不是跟呃，请给我们大家一起啊、呃、致意？我们欢迎刘老师，刘家浩老师。是，谢谢，请刘老师。啊，各位好，我是刘家浩。呃，其实我首先非常感谢万行长来邀请我到这里。其实我来到这里呢，就是来跟各位学习啊。我觉得应该是有一个非常丰富的合杂。那我也希望就是跟就是看呃见证的那个那个美呃那个韩国、日本、台湾跟香港之间的交流，也是我觉得这是很难得的机会。啊，好，就是这样，谢谢。非常感谢刘老师、刘教授。啊、呃，我们还有一位年轻的这个郑朝景音乐家，啊、呃，郑郑啊，是不是麦克风可以给我们这个音乐家选呢？谢谢，谢谢各位宾，大家好，那呃，我是郑朝景，好，谢谢，就是都在座各位宾，好，今天有荣幸。参加这次的这个结婚啊，然后啊、呃，就是也可以向学习，然后学习的，嗯，就是下还有以后下还有在座的就是专家，然后可以就是这次的交流，谢谢，非常感谢哈，希望有机会聆听您的这个演出。那我不知道现场还有没有可能陆陆续续，我也希望说。啊，线上朋友如果还没有介绍，我们在今天的节目会继续聆听您的这个指教。呃，这个啊、呃，我也说一下，就是说，啊、呃，我是医生 ，I'm a physician，I'm a medical doctor。那为什么会跟 music？ 因为我们是 medicine，the star with the music。所有的医生都要学习音乐。好<笑>、uh, ，and、uh, 那我们医生用的是手术刀跟开药 prescription 来治疗人的呃痛苦啊，让他们更快乐、更健康。那音乐家也是用一个笔跟这个音乐的这个思维来提升。如果没有音乐啊，这世界呃就不是很健康。所以啊 ，as a medical doctor。We work in the same area. 我们同样都是在让这个世界更健康、更快乐。嗯、呃，这个是呃，我比较大胆的敢说，一个不怎么懂音乐的呃人，可以在这边跟大家一起学习。那我觉得音乐是一个非常重要的一个，怎么说呢？它是一个我们的 human nature， 是个人性。那最近在这个巴厘岛举行 G20， 鸡我不知道鸡是名字的 ，Gold Gold Twenty 鸡 ，I don't know 鸡 What does that mean？ 鸡鸡是 Grand。那未来我们希望一个 M Twenty Music Twenty， 二十个大家啊、呃，当然不分国籍，大家喜欢音乐的，大家创造音乐，大家用音乐来。治疗这个我们的呃这个地球 ，In the future we should have an M20 and M20 to come. I hope 赖团长继续努力，呃，除了日本、韩国、香港、台湾也能够有 M20 啊 ，Music t w 啊，变成更重要的啊。那呃，我不知道还有没有哪几位我们啊还没有介绍到的赖团长有没有要补充一下？赖长是不是补充一下？啊、oh, ，OK， 啊，请
拍完之后，我们会做今天开幕这种大合照，请大家准备。I'd like to show my joy of the exchange of the talents between the East Asian music specialists, which has happened from the last years. And I, I also want to point that my, my delight that we have, we have not only not only start the stream of this exchange, but we are gradually. Gradually developing as the time goes by. I would also like to especially show my gratitude to the President Lee, who has contributed and cooperate, cooperate many times, especially to promote the better exchange of Korea and Taiwan Music Society. Thank you very much. 也谢谢啊，赖教授的最后支持。那我们是不是邀请？在座的现场 ，Let me welcome、uh, all of you to have a group photo. Uh, this photo will go through a satellite, right? <laughs> will be here and all together. So, ah, the audience members, we are not asking everyone to move to the front. That just now, the audience members are saying that the audience members can stay on the front. Ah, just now, the audience members are saying that the audience members can stay on the front. Please stay、uh, online and open your camera. We're going to take a group photo together. So, ah, 左右两边啊都可以。那这边稍微小心一点啊，这边稍微小心。呀，来，班长，请。我们不是，请。那我想，我们可能要拍成这个样子，就左右两边，左右两边，左右两边，对对对。那中间就可以有一幕呀，对。啊、呃，请大家，呃，上还有这个，呃，可爱的小朋友，啊、呃，有 welcome， 啊<笑>、呃，我们有机会介绍他，就是我，呃，这样可以吗？可以麻烦帮我稍微近一点点，只要留近一点，然后只要留中间，只要留中间就好，对，就是这样。Uh, yeah. uh, for those online, please remain online and open your camera. Uh, we have another one. Uh, 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 一二三，有有有，有有有，那边啊，青春，这边看。一二三，再说一二三，一二三，一二三，然后比个赞，还是比个比个赞吧，来，一二三，谢谢，谢谢，确定你的照片 ，OK，OK，、okay. okay. 小心找不到。Thank you so much， 谢谢大家，呃，我们稍微休息，嗯，一分钟，两分钟。呃，大家换一下这个姿势，呃，请欢迎大家回到现场。我马上要将这个麦克风交给我们第一个场次的主持人，呃，潘黄龙教授，潘教授。呀，那您坐在那边主持，您那边有 everything， 可以哈。好，那请大家暂时休息一下，我们马上啊、呃、就请潘教授来主持第一个场次，谢谢。第，我会拿一张的草纸表，跟那个业绩讲，因为我要交出去。이철구협회장님안녕하세요저지금쉬는시간을잠깐갖고바로먼저한한발표자님축사있으신후에바로발표들어가겠습니다몇분쉬죠네어브레이크네어잠그냥잠깐오랜는아니고요그냥잠깐휴식을좀가질것같아요제가다시한번여쭤보고다시전달해드리겠습니다예그리고올해도다시보게돼서영광이네요예영광스럽다陈依林，陈依林，小心走路。你跟你讲，跟我讲一下现在的那个顺序好不好？你跟我讲一下，然后赖医师那个在哪里
。전임평교수님안녕하세요。什么是说？这是昨天有的、哦，这是昨天有的。안녕하세요반갑습니다네반갑습니다교수님오늘통역을담당하게된임태은입니다지금은한일분에서이분정도휴식시간을가지고있고요전임평교수님께서는세션후두번째시간을발표하고있습니다所以我只要从一开始说，然后谁谁。네알겠습니다감사합니다,니다然后呢？老师，等一下，一个十三分钟，对不对？那你有没有会不会按铃？到几分钟的时候？我可以，我设定十三到，他就叫唤，他就开始叫，可以代表要老师的意思。先好，十一分钟提醒，响的时候是两分钟，这样还是现在？可以吗？好不好？好，那我就是，我就是都是倒数了，倒数十分，第十七十一分钟，然后他如果想的时候，就是两分钟，一分钟，他会他会这个这个这个这个，然后就关掉，啊，就就听到了，好好不好？好，好，谢谢老师。就是像闹钟一样，这样可以吗？好不好？好，谢谢老师，谢谢。好，关掉。然后你说，然后像孙导他他要用的是什么？好了，谢谢老师。那谁用什么？你跟我讲清楚。那遇到他们的简报，那李老师有个英文简报的，他也是简报。没关系，反正你每一次。现在，现在那一次，就那一招接。他那一次在哪里？你现在赶快跟我讲，你现在直接赖我那个档案，直接赖我那个档案。我我我我我，你现在直接直接卸到烂烟，现在。不会啦，哪有？这是赖社节目档，十二对不对？这个好，所以你说什么？你说。中药光，他有。对对对对对对对对。然后在他最后讲，把他还有。没有关系，反正一个一个一个一个跟我说，一个一个跟我说。所以我现在先先开你的头，谢谢你的支持。老师，不好意思。对、嗯，
이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철구협회장님이철
I am the president of the Music Association of Korea. Today, I would like to present about my piece about the, about the East Asian Formosa, Taiwan. I have composed this orchestra music after, after the great, great opportunity of visiting Taiwan with the invite of Thai, Taipei Philharmonic Orchestra, which has inspired me, which the beauty of Formosa and Thailand has inspired me gratefully to create this music of orchestra music. And I would like to gratefully show my thankfulness to bringing me the opportunity. Tiga when I was composing this composing this symphonic poem of East East Asian East Asian Formosa Taiwan, I had think of the three parts. And the first part, the introduction of the music, was a beautiful scenery of Taiwan as an entree. 이제 그 전개되는 중간 부는 이제 발전 부는 아 타이완과 어, 우리 대한민국이 매우 유사한 어, 그 지형적인 특징을 갖고 있습니다. 이 어, 동서로 나눠지는데 에, 한국도 이 동쪽이 높고 서쪽이 얕은 동서 에, 고저의 그 지형으로 되어 있습니다. 또 그것이 어, 대만도 또 도, 아, 동일한 지형적 조건을 갖고 있다는 것을 이번에 처음 알게 됐습니다. 그래서 대만을 대만의 중앙을 가로지르는 대만 산맥을 중심으로 해서 이또 한국의 남북을 저기 동서를 가로지르는 태백 산맥의 그 웅장함을 이, 같이 이렇게 작품에 담아봤습니다. 따라서 본 작품은 아름다운 섬 타위안 중심으로 흐르는 대만 산맥의 웅장함을 관연하게 담아 보았습니다. For the middle part, for the develop, for the development of the piece, I have tried to represent the mutual similarity between Taiwan and Korea, which the east is high and the west is low which it was a new information that I have earned from this visit and investigation. Also, the, the mountain chain, which is across the middle of Taiwan, have a similarity of the Korean one, the Taebaek, Taebaek mountain, which I, I, which I intend to present the majestic view and the atmosphere of this mountain range, which across the Taiwan. 결론적인 부분이 마, 마무리되는 마지막 부분은 역시 그 동양의 아름다운 섬 타이안을 주제로 하는 이 타이안의 그 아름다움을 작품에 담으면서 이 작품을 통해서 타이완이 얼마나 아름다운 섬이고 독립적인 섬이라는 것을 에, 제가 작품에다 담으려고 했습니다. 또한 이런 작품을 통해서 아, 탈완이 그 세계의 어, 정말 아름답고 평화로운 섬이라는 것들이 아, 작품에 녹아져서 에, 그 탈완의 그 아주 자유스럽고 평화로운 모습들을 에, 관현악 작품으로 느낄 수 있는 그런 작품으로 마련했습니다. 그래서 이런 것들이 하나의 교양시 같은 에, 홈으로 작곡을 했기 때문에 이 전체 내용이 한 번도 끊어짐이 없이 전체 한 개의 작품으로 아, 이번 작품을 완성하게 되었습니다. For the, for the last part, 
for the last part, I have also tried to recapitulate the beauty of the East Asian Formosa Taiwan, which I typically focus on the independent beauty of Taiwan Island, which I am hope, which I'm hoping that I can represent the beauty and the peaceful environment of Taiwan to the world. And also the, the beautiful nature, which represents the peaceful, peaceful current address and the atmosphere of Taiwan. I have, I have also particularly put my effort to make it into a symphonic form, which has no separation, but in a one smooth flow. 어 마지막으로 이그 동양 동양의 프로모사 타이완이라는 작품을 통해서 이 특별히 그이 동아시아의 아름다움이 또 타이완의 그 음악적인 요소와 또 한국적인 요소가 공존하는 것들을 모두 모아서 이번 작품을 아 작곡할 어, 지금 어, 작품을 쓰고 있고 완성할 에, 그런 생각입니다. 앞으로 자관 이런 그 교류적인 그 같은 이 동양권에서 같은 생각을 가지고 작품을 어, 서로 나눈다면 이제 그 모든 이 국제적 관심이 어, 동아시아에 쏠릴 거라고 생각하고 이런 기회를 주신. 아, 타이안 정부와 또그 타이페이 이그 동아시아 포럼에 진심으로 감사드립니다. 감사합니다. 마지막으로, 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 my main point was to not only to represent the beauty of the East Asian, East Asian Formosa Taiwan, but also I have tried my best to better melt down the mutual coexistence of the features of Taiwan and Korean music, which I am still in a process of composing the music and hopefully I can represent it with the aims that I am and that I'm proposing to. With the interchange, with, with the constant interchange and the communication between the East Asian Music Society, I believe this will be, this will definitely incur into the concentration of the attention of the world venue. And I'd like to show my gratitude again to the Taiwanese, Taiwanese government and the, the, the committee of the East Asian Music Forum today for giving me this great opportunity. Thank you very much. 혹시 뭐 질문이 있으시면 말씀해 주시면 답변 드리겠습니다. I like to answer for any inquiries and I'd be very delighted to have any questions. 어. 아, 제가 좀 코멘트 해도 될까요? May I have some comment for the, the 
Hello. 인정해 주시. 네, 전인경 대표님 하시고 싶으신 말씀 있으신가요? 네, 네, 제가 잠깐 코멘트 하고 싶습니다. 아, 그러시면 잠시만 기다려 주시겠습니까? 제가 저 발표자님께서 하신 코멘트 번역 도와드리고 청중분들께 말씀 네. 나누시겠다고 전하겠습니다. 오케이. 네, 감사합니다. 我们会开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开始开
しかしどちらが正しいかは誰も判断することはできません But no one can judge that which is correct or wrong. どの地方でも生活に結びついた音楽というのは出どころがどうあれその地,地方の人々や環境によって作曲家の手を離れて育っていくものだと思っています。Although the Western dialect is considered as the standard language in Japan, it will be a stupid question if you ask which one is correct in music、uh, expression. It originated in Europe. There is no point in discussing what is wrong and what is right. The music will mold, mature, and grow once they have its composer's hand, regardless of their countries, areas, and how they were made from. 私は東京と大阪を行き来して演奏活動をしています。I go back and forth between Tokyo and Osaka to perform. 私の考えは、私の感じることは、東京は形式美を重んじ、大阪はエンターテイメント性が重んじられる気がします。I feel like or it seems like people from Tokyo put a value on the format. However, people from Osaka put a value on the entertainment. 食べ物との違いと同じで、東京はじっくりおいしい。大阪はとにかくおいしいという文化だと思います。It's the same, same as food. For example, people from Tokyo would say it's well made, it's very tasty. On the other hand, people from Osaka would just say everything is good anyway. 東京は録音するオーケストラが多く。大阪はライブコンサートをするオーケストラが多いというのも印象です。オーケストラは、from Tokyo prefer recording、perhaps オーケストラは、from Osaka prefer live concerts。同じ関西でも、大阪の隣の京都は、日本文化を担ってきた誇りと伝統が。あるのでちょっとやはり違います。Uh, Kyoto, which locates next to Osaka and is also in the western part of Japan, has traditional Japanese old culture. Therefore, somehow there is calmness and rationality. 京都公共楽団というとても素晴らしいオーケストラがあります。It is called、uh, Kyoto Orchestra, which is very、uh, beautiful orchestra. Yeah, it's very high level. <laughs> Thank you. Kanto、um, no Kita no Sendai wa Samui no de Osaka to a Magyaku de Jiko Hyogen o Surukoto ni Enlio ga aru bunka na no de. 少しシャイなオーケストラだと思います。I realized when I went to concert in Sendai, which is located in the northern part of Japan, they have a culture in which they do not express themselves or、um, they're shy. Their music was calm and charming, which is the opposite side of Osaka. I was the、um, concert master of the Sendai Philharmonic Orchestra when I was like 30 years, 30 years old. That's why I know. Okay, so t h e h o k a i d o ni mo orchestra ga a r i m a s Also, there is orchestra in Hokkaido. Kaitaku no lexi ga a r u no de, nan to naku, ftokoro ga fukai, kuki kan to, saihoku no chino, sukkirista, 
透明な気質も興味深いです。Because of the history of cultivative, it is interesting that they have a clear and deep sound of music. 日本は北から南まで長いです。Japan is long from north to south. So, Minami wa Kyushu ni mo orchestra ga arimasu ga. There is orchestra in south, southern part of Japan which is called Kyushu. Kyushu Kokyo Gakudan wa sono shima no yuitsu no orchestra na no de hokori to 島の主であるという音楽館があります。Because they're the owner of the only island on the southern part of Japan, they have the pride, pride in and the owner of the island of, in music. Perfect. So, 沖縄にもオーケストラがあります。常夏なので明るい音がして。聴衆も笑顔で聞きに来るんだろうと思います。There is an orchestra in Okinawa as well. However, they have not played yet, but I can imagine that their music will be charming and makes people smile because the weather is always hot and they have a culture that is always happy and smiling. Perfect. 背景には忘れてはならない第二次世界大戦の記憶もあります。There is the memory of World War II, which is unforgettable in the background. 日本には30オーケストラのオーケストラがあります。There are approximately 30 groups of professional orchestra in Japan. それぞれの町、文化に根付くオーケストラを目指して、それぞれが頑張っています。We believe that we're devoting ourselves to becoming an orchestra, orchestra rooted in each city and culture. 大切、the、important thing、大切なのは、地域に根付いた活動とともに、すでに他の文化、世界の文化に刺激を求めていくことだと思います。The important thing is to seek stimulation from other cultures in the world.It is essential to grow global spiritually by expressing other culture, countries' languages and foods. 逆の発想かもしれませんが、音楽が先ではなく、我々島国である日本の隣人であるアジアの国の文化、言葉、食べ物の交流、音楽において、また演奏の現場において、切磋琢磨、共有していく。起爆剤になるかもしれません。It might be the opposite side of the way of thinking. However, music is not the first. Knowing and interacting with Asian countries' cultures and foods could be a detonator to lead to sharing the taste of music. Thank you very much for inviting me to this conference. And、um, I really think that Asia is one ship. We're on the same boat. And during this COVID, we really suffered and still struggling. But it's coming. It's coming better. It's better. The border is now open. And looking forward to p l a y with you. And I really miss Taiwan. I miss the、um, Xiao Longpo and everything. And 
I wish I, you could come to Japan and thank you very much. And this is about my speech. If you have any further questions, I'll be glad to. Thank you for the translation and Shishini. Maybe we'll come to my sister. Yeah. Uh, no. no. I mean, it'll be Professor Wang. Wang. We have more chance to communicate with each other. Yeah, uh, uh, Morista san, long time no see. Oh. We have very good experience uh, appearance in uh, Tai Chung's concert. Oh, yes. Do you remember? Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, may I ask one question? Yes. Uh, what is the audience of Osaka? They look about the local orchestra or the foreign orchestra from Europe. Is there, they have different kind of uh, enthusiasm? You mean the, um, if they could, if they, how they enjoy or what? what? Yes, uh, or the, the, the ticket, the, the, um, yeah, the distribution or, yeah. You mean the prices? The concert. Concerts. Yeah. yeah. The prices. Mm -hmm. The っていうことですかね。あの、ごめんなさい。あの、彼は何を言ってるんですか。あの、料金のこと言ってるのかしら。違いを。大阪のえっと観客の人の違いと、あとヨーロッパとかの違いはどんな感じなのかなみたいな。
我所谓的所谓的专利系列的作品，或是某一种创作的想法，或者是或者是创作的创作的元素，或者是特定乐器的。或者说一种好的形式，好的形式逻辑，完成一个在完成一个作品之后，总觉得好像意犹未尽，所以还有必要继续再继续往下走的，所以也就产生了这个所谓的系列的作品。记得我在读国立台湾师范大学音乐系的时候，一个神经我写过。这个巧合，巧合糖水，就说以云南的民歌，巧合糖水，当谱，当做了一个一个六声六声部的伴奏，伴奏六声部的合唱曲。那这个曲，那这个曲子，曾经在台北国际合唱合唱节里面啊，由苏黎世的室内合唱团在国家音乐厅演完了以后，完了以后，让我非常让我非常的。觉得了不起啊！就他们的合唱团是正腔圆，全是赞，就是那个语言的语言的非常是非常非常的精彩。所以我就所以我就到后台去挥恭喜挥恭喜，那指挥他也觉得他也觉得这个已经不是一个乐曲的改编，而是一个创作。那那后来后来就那个是差不多一九。六零年代，六零年代，一九六九，然后一九七四年，我就到欧洲去了，去了八年，这中间几乎没有写什么合唱的作品。到回一九八二年回来以后，然后一九九五年开始，才又写在一个无伴奏的混声合唱的曲子，像像《阴阳赏曲》了，《夜对唐诗》了，《秋千》了，《秋千》了。甚至于梦游女啊，那梦游女在二零二零二一年曾经得过金曲奖啊，那让我出乎意料之外，不晓得是评审进步了，还是我退步了啊？那这个是这几几个不伴奏了和。合唱的八部有十二，八部有十二部，甚至有十六部。以上是有关无伴奏的混声合唱，这是我第一个系列的。那接下来，下来全力是同奏，全力是同奏，呃，写过好几，也写过好几个。其中第一个，中国前，出国前非常调性，还非常调性。第二个就刚好，第二个就刚好像已经融会了，融会了结构主义跟呃。陌生化的语汇啊，那音乐会完了以后，观众观众从一堆啊，我赞成，一面拍手，一手就是虚的，僵持的非常非常的。第三号是在香港香港演出，而是一个很有名的阿弟弟，跟花姐在香港演出。啊，这是有关全也是同奏。接下来我还有浅白在瑞士写的写的五首作品。那庄子的系列作品在在呃柏林开柏林开始啊啊，后来后来回到台湾以后还是写起来。这里面这里面有用原文的蝴蝶梦，这是蝴蝶梦。那我想，那我想那个唯一唯一庄子的著作，我朗诵或者唱出来可以听得出来。其他的，因为语言上比较深，所以哦，所以我就选择了英文的翻译，英文的翻译或者是德文的翻译。那这样子的话，也可以弥补这听觉上的缺憾。那五行生克，我曾经写过了三首作品。啊，第一首是一九八一年，在荷兰的名城考迪阿姆，在那边首演，后来也陆续在奥地利、德国、法国、美国相继的演出。啊，五行生克二，即使是即使是柏林柏林爱乐管弦乐团，一九八二年。一百多年庆的，一百多年庆的委托创作，扩张，就是扩张而成的了。啊，那柏林爱乐是在一九八二年的十二月五号在柏林爱乐厅演出。
首演，那五八三个三是一个室内管弦乐曲，呃，这个是以上这系列几个系列乐曲，只是奠定了我而后影响一定音乐创作理念的基础。因为我我有我有教了那个文的翻译啊，不晓得有没有可就呃呃就不翻译不翻译的啊，就直接呃呃就跳过去了啊。那接下来那接下来啊，有关那个关那个七月的合奏，我曾经写过五个，有一个有一个昨天还在排练啊，因为下下个礼拜要演。万花筒，万花筒的系列有三个，李云大同的，本君的作品有两首，这些，这些其实是跟孔老夫子的李云大同篇的启发的转化而成的。嗯，那接下来是迷宫逍遥游。一共逍遥游有三个系列，八首作品。这个是，这个是把把音乐的。编制跟数学的旋律结合的，就是我当初其实只是想为每一个乐器写一个独奏的曲子，后来发现这样写下去好像有点无聊，所以我又试着。把第三跟第四就并在一起，那看第四叠在一起，越叠在一起，越叠越多，就变成后来的后来的室内乐的编制。好，接下来是传统现代的对话，对，完全完全都是给传统乐器的的作的室内乐作品。那在那个年代啊，一九九零年代，在台湾的音乐环境里面，可以说。东西界，界界，即使是老死不相往啊！那，所以我写这个东西，对很多人他觉得是，怎么会一个七月出生的，然后用传统乐器来写曲？啊，那当初其实可能引起了不少的。讨论啊，那这个之后，我又接下来写了东南西北的系列，而东南西北的系列就是东西乐器的混合编制的啊，就是把东方的东方的我们的传统乐器跟西方的乐器乐器相结合写的室内乐作品，现在目前总共有十二首。那接下来是。别馆的协奏曲，那这个是用别馆的曲牌为骨架所创作的，那通常几乎都是乐团的周年庆的委托创作，这里面有呃国家这样国家这样乐团的二十周年。台北市立国乐团的三十周年，哎，这还是钟耀光，然后是当团长的时候的委托创作，然后以及其他的，包括那个台北市立交响乐团的五十周年创作的，等等，然后最后一个三个系列是台湾新印象，这是。系列的国乐团的协奏曲，这有三，这有三，都完全都是台湾国乐团在在联会参与时代多的多的创作啊。那以上这以上这系列的系列总共有三十三十三个系列，三个系列啊，总共是其实有七十八首的作品，那这个都是在。我在北大北大任，跟二零零九年退休以后陆续完成的。那么，请大家多多指教。谢谢，谢谢。我就很快的就把快的就把它讲完了。那各位有没有各位有没有要要提出意见或者意见或者讨论的，请请。Any yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ching, ching, please, please. Two, two, two. Your question is for you. 
아, 저, 저를 호명하는 것 같아서. I want to have some comment here for the uh, East Seoul Korean the Association present. Is it possible? Uh, 제가 이 철구 이사장 이사장님 발표에 대해서 코멘트 하고 싶어서 그러는데 네. 어떻습니까? 질문 Do we have time for the question? Yes. 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 굉장히 의미 있다고 생각합니다. 그래서 이렇게 상호 한국 사람이 보는 어, 대만 또 한국 사람이 보는 일본 일본 사람이 보는 한국 이렇게 서로 상호 이런 음악을 교류해 보는 것은 어, 국제적인 갈등을 해소하는 데도 좋고 상호 아름다움을 추구하는 데서 굉장히 중요한 계기라고 생각해서 어, 아주 의미 있고 중요한 활동 그 계획이라고 생각해서. 어, 앞으로 기대가 큽니다. 마치겠습니다. 고맙습니다. President Chan wants to share his comments about the, com the, co the compose composition of the beauty of Formosa Taiwan, which, is, which it has a great meaning because it was composed by a Korean musician, President Lee. Uh, he would like to show his expectation of this mutual connection of the music between the cult between the countries of East Asia, which he which he hoped and anticipate this will take a great role to solve the international conflicts and problems, which so it has a great meaning and it will be vital for the accelerating the great expansion of East Asian Music Society. Thank you very much.
，很多很多来自外的外来，是外的，包括真的，真的来自全世界，来自全世界的，嗯，关注，那关注啊，尤其是来自台湾的，也是台湾的人，非常非常非常非常多。我记得那个时候，那个时候，嗯。嗯、这个是呃介绍的当时的情况，呃，去台湾外交部的外交部啊，呃，台湾呃就呃就下令本捐给捐当地当时就是六十多万一发一千万以上，还是当时当时的比率是百分之一百，比率是日元两百亿以上，上上报上数字，还有那个呃呃。右下角，下角是马当时的是的马英九同志亲自上上啊电视节目，节目呼吁大家帮助日本，就是我们日本台湾教育协会有做到，有做到，还是台湾各个地方，各个地方有很多信仰，很多很多，嗯，台湾政府马上派遣派遣这个那个队，就队，到到日本捐捐捐钱。那后来，那后来用海关用捐款的捐款，我我对呢，对对对，对对对养老院养老院，然后现在也现在也在用在用，在用我这里把这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这这啊、嗯嗯，就是借借、就是、一十周年的机会，啊、嗯，就决定展开一系列、一系列的日在系列的相关活动，开始向台湾各界表达感谢。然后，这个是我们是我们台湾的日在有日在 logo， 是嗯是日本的街，日本的街的台湾的呃组合起来起来一个汉字的这个字的这个这个表示表示台湾台湾台湾起起对创创造创造未来未来的这样的希望就是希望日在有机日在有机两个面两相连一上一个方法一个方向上这个方向。这个是我们十二月的教学，就是就是两个人，两个人和一个人，一个人。这个看起来比较简单，但是真正的真正的一个一个人字的时候，其实比较难，其实比较没有完全没有完全依靠对方，靠对方，靠对方的话呢，对方的话呢，很容易很容易呢，会会出来，会来会引出来，会引。其实这个，其实这个，呃，做起来也比较难，比较难。那那过去一年多来，一年多来推动了这个一百个一百个活动，活动都是活动都是来做筹划，做筹划。旁边发表的我是二零二一年的二零二十号，然后二十二，然后二正式开始这个活动，开始月二十三号的时候，月二十三号的时候，大楼，大楼。就是那个东京奥运节快半年前前,前开始这个演的演讲活动，然后就哦，正常这个活动开始。三月份的时候，哎，呃，就是他们他们十周年的时候，在在台北的华山呃呃园区啊，特特意做的这个这个特展，啊，向台湾人介绍啊，现在台北的重建的情况。然后也发生很多很多事情，是去年月份月底月底的时候，台湾发生了一种种啊，一般一般的一种什么啊，那个呃，呃，动作比较快呀，叫快的这个这个疫苗，然后啊，台湾台湾的跟我们说，表示感谢，非常感谢。然后七八月份的时候有。日本人的呃，年纪里面的这个东京奥运，奥运上的啊，亲戚这个呃，东京奥运上上台湾选手的表现非常非常的，非常非常好。嗯，十一、十二、十二、二的啊，奖牌，然后那个呃，世世上那个成绩最好的这个，哦，然后日本人日本人非常好，非常好。在在
九月份的时候，对，因为因为日本本身呃，台湾也对，嗯，反对，也也比日本也比日本多，嗯，医疗部门医疗，然后就先开放先开放。十二月十二月以后，我这边呃呃，怎么怎么做一个做一个做办法，办法做宣传节，宣传节，音乐会，音乐会，音乐节，嗯嗯，之后呃，二零二零二零二零年继续展开一些新的活动。那我们的有有多音乐的要求。这个先是呃，这个是呃，去年的抗疫十,十周年的时候，台湾的呃，台湾的呃，器乐团乐舞器乐团这边呃，做了那个呃，做叫做希望的，叫做希望的音乐，这个呃，乐舞器，这个呃，乐舞器呢，它它是发生之后，它经过到过，然后然后然后给给日本东北给东北给。东北人帮助打击，然后跟他们我们他们日本人的长辈东北有长有辈人，对吗？我想在东北这个这个希望希望希望的希望的今天，请大家大家听一听吧。对，等我一下啊，对。不知道为什么没声音，刚刚下面声音出不来，效果。哦，好，等我一下哦，马上来，我把它停止，因为它跳到 YouTube 去，等我一下马上来。好，放可以。哦，我知道了，稍微稍微。声音呢？可惜为什么没声音了？关一下，关一下。好，就是，我觉得音响出不来。我觉得没有声音，不好意思，不知道为什么。没有，他对他这他这个这个样子是没有声音就对了，不用考虑，没有声音请下一个，这影片目前不能看。好啊。
时间已经熬到了，所以赶快庆幸是。好，那那，
目前就就暂时休息，休息啊，按照这个标定是表，二点四十五，二点四十五。We will meet again in twenty two minutes. Two minutes. So you will have a very short, very short break, lunch, lunch, and see you soon again. See you soon again online. And outside, outside, the 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 네, 이철구 협회장님, 전인평 교수님, 지금부터 네. 하, 한국 시간 1시 45분까지 점심 겸 쉬는 시간 있겠습니다. 예, 네, 감사합니다. 수고하셨습니다. 네, 잘하셨습니다. 네. 네. 우리 시다상. 우리 시다상, 기가요 마스카? 우리 시다상. はい、聞こえます。えっと、今から12時45分まで休憩になります。よろしくお願いします。それでね、僕もうリハーサルに行かなきゃいけないので、もう中止してしまうので。わかりました。わかりました。そのままで。はい、はい。彼にあのさっき
这个<笑> 
네, 전인평 교수님 안녕하세요. 통역 담당원 임채은입니다. 예, 반가워요. 예, 고맙습니다. 아직 다들 감사합니다. 아직 다들 식사 중이셔서요. 아마도 한한 예, 예. 한 3분에서 5분 정도 있다가 시작할 것 같습니다. 네, 그래서 네. 거기서 지금 저그 화면 공유를 지금 차단해 놨는데 네, 네. 화면 공유를 한번 풀어 달라고 부탁해 봐요. 한번 그걸 내가 화면 공유가 잘 되나 보려고. 아, 화면이 잘 보이는지 확인하시고 싶으신가요? 아니, 화면 공유. 내, 화... 화, 내 컴퓨터의 화면을 네네. 공유하려고 그러는데 내 발표문을 아... 띄우자고요. 그런데 지금 보면 은 차단되어 있어서 아, 네, 전달드리겠습니다. 그래서 왜냐하면 화면 공유가 되나 안 되나를 확인하려고요. 아, 그러면 조금 있다가 제가 혹시 발표자 권한이 모두에게 있는지 한번 확인 부탁드릴게요. 저기 저 아마 저기 저, 저 뭐야 거기 센터에 네. 네. 구원하는 사람이 가지고 있어요. 네네. 어, 그래서 여기 보면 포스트가 네. 포스트가 참가자 화면 공유를 비활성화했습니다라고 써놨단 말이에요. 아, 네. 포스트가 거기 저 중심 센터에서. 아, 네. 그러니까 그거를 풀어달라고 그러면 아, 내가 많이 하지 풀 수가 있죠. 네네. 예, 한번 좀 풀어달라고 해서 내가 한번 전화 안 전화 보내고 하는 거. 아, 전화 안 전화. 왜냐면 또 이런 상황도 공유가 있는 거 상황. 상황. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May I introduce Professor Zhong Yao Wang to hand over the the second part of the program. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Du Hongchong, and I am the uh, second chair of, of the uh, session number two. Um, in this session, uh, we have uh, we have five we have five speakers. Um, actually, uh, they are all from at uh, one. Uh, the first one is from Korea, Korea and. And the rest, so they are all from Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Taiwan. First, first, uh, uh, President, 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 uh, uh, set up, set up, yeah. 
the Music, 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 네, 지금 되고 있습니다. 네, 네. 네, 네, 잘 보입니다. 시작해 주시면 되겠습니다. 감사합니다. 네, 네 안녕하십니까. 서울중앙대학교의 그 전인평 교수입니다. 오늘 이렇게 어, 훌륭한 학술회의에 함께 참게, 참가해서 논문을 발표하게 되어서 대단히 기쁩니다. Hello everyone. I am I am John Im Pyeong, and I'm currently being a professor in Chungang University of Korea. I would like to show my joy and gratitude to join this great opportunity. 예, 제가 발표할 제목은 동아시아 음악의 공통적인 특징과 동아시아 음악계의 과제입니다. 중국과 한국, 일본의 동아시아 지역은 음악적으로 공통점이 있으며 또 앞으로 풀어가야 할 공통적인 과제가 있습니다. 네, 먼저 동아시아 지역의 음악의 공통점을 살펴보고 앞으로 해결돼야 할 공통 과제를 논의해 보려고 합니다. Today I'd like to present about the characteristics of East Asian music and challenges in East Asian music. East Asian regions of China, Korea and Japan have something in common musically and are sharing a mutual task to solve in the future. Firstly, I will look at the commonality of the music in East Asia, and then following discussion would be about the common task to be solved in the future. Yeah, 어, 첫째로 동아시아 음악 지역의 음악은 어, 서양 음악의 폴리포니나 홍어포니처럼 다선율이 아닌 모노포니, 곧 단선율이라는 공통점이 있어서 이러한 단선율을 아름답게 꾸미기 위해서 한국의 농연 같은 미분음 처리를 하는 것이 아주 신비로움을 갖게 한다는 공통점이 있습니다. First, East Asian traditional music melodies have something in common. They are monophony, not polyphony or homophony of Western music. The monophony of East Asian music makes it a um, mysterious mysterious enthusiasm by performing microtone processing such as nonghyun, a way of practicing vibrato in Korean music. 
둘째로는 어, 동아시아 음악의 속도는 대체로 어, 느리게 시작해서 보통 속도, 빠른 속도 이렇게 됩니다. 그래서 한국 음악에서는 진양조, 중모리, 자중모리라고 그러고 중국 음악에서는 만판, 중판, 콰이판 이러는 판식이 있고 또 일본 음악에는 조학휴라는 이러한 속도 변화가 있습니다. 그래서 느린 곡에서 시작하여 차츰 빠른 곡으로 진행되다가 끝나는 이러한 형식이 아시아, 동아시아의 공통적으로 있는데 한국의 상조, 중국의 강남 사주기 여기에 속합니다. Secondly, the tempo of East Asian music is generally divided into three categories, slow, moderate, and fast. Examples would include Tinyangjo, Jungmori, Sajinmori of Korean music, Manban, Dongban, and Kwaiban of Chinese music, and Jo, Ha, Hu of Japanese music. Also, there are many kinds of music that starts with slow rhythm and gradually progress to a fast rhythm until the end. Examples include the Korean Sanjo and the Jiangnan Shiju of China. 어, 실제로는 어, 동아시아 음악의 어, 그 대체로 오늘날 남아 있는 음악은 성악곡이 기악곡, 기악곡보다 압도적으로 많습니다. 그리고 근현대를 지나면서 성악곡으로 기악곡으로 발전해 왔다는 공통점이 있습니다. Third, among the existing performances of East Asian music, vocal music is generally overwhelmingly more than instrumental music. In addition, there is a common point that vocal music has developed into instrumental music throughout modern and contemporary life. 어, 니체로는 동아시아 음악의 전승이 악보에 의해서가 아니라 구전 심성이라는 이렇게 마음으로 전하고 어, 입으로 전하고 마음으로 전하는 이러한 구전 심수 방법으로 이렇게 전해왔다는 특징이 있습니다. 그래서 이런 구비 전승에 의한 동아시아 음악에서 작곡자와 연주자가 구분이 되지 않아서 안다는 점과 또한 즉흥 연주가 굉장히 중요한 창작 활동이라는 점이 서양 음악과는 매우 어, 다릅니다. 그래서 연주자는 어, 옛날에 선생님이 가르쳐준 음악을 잘 갖고 닦아서 그 익힌 경험에서 즉흥적으로 새로운 곡을 만들어간다는 이러한 점이 공통적이라고 생각합니다. Oh. The transmission of East Asian music is common in that it is not usually transcribed by sheet music, but played and passed down orally and taught with heart, which the Korean method of calling it would be Pujon Chipchu. It is very contrasting from the case of Western music in that composers and performers are not distinguished in East Asian music by a long history of inheritance. And it is on composition by improvisation. When Western music composers develop their melodic subject, they intentionally design and create music in accordance with a certain music format. However, East Asian music has an overall characteristic that, that the more powerful musicians play a certain song for a lengthy period of time, the more refined and complete it gradually becomes. For this reason, the performers of East Asian music playing the role of composer by applying the experience of cultivating existing songs that they have been taught by the method of Pujon Shinshu, while also performing a revised song by improvisation spontaneously. 그리고 마지막으로 동아시아 음악의 전통악기는 지역마다 매우 다양하고 독특한 음색을 지닌 점에서 특징적이고. 기아 갑주의 경우 때때로 하나의 선율을 어, 각기 악기에 따라서 다르게 연주하는 휘체로 보니 또는 멀티포니를 활용하기도 합니다. Finally, the traditional instruments of East Asian music are characteristic in that they have a very diverse and unique tone from region to region. And in the case of instrumental ensemble, heterophony or multiphony is formed occasionally. 동아시아의 전통악기는 서양 음악에서 인력이 작고 공명이 약하지만 가깝게 개성 있는 음색과 종류가 아주 어, 다양합니다. 동이 동양악기는 여러 어, 악기가 많은 악기가 서양 악기에 못 채웠다는 사실은 어, 모두 알고 있는 상황입니다. 중국의 상황이 
파이포르간의 기원이고 서아시아의 산투르나 합식도 서아시아의 산투르가 합식도나 클라비토르가 되어서 이것이 피아노로 발전해 왔습니다. 주르나나 소르나 이것이 또는 태평소는 오보에로 발전했고 서아시아의 우주가 어, 어, 중세의 이후트로 발전했다는 것은 널리 알려진 사실입니다. Traditional instruments in East Asia have a smaller volume and produce less resonance compared to Western instruments. But however, each instrument has a variety of unique tones with numerous types. Moreover, it is a well-known fact that various various oriental instruments were the parent of many western instruments for example china song is the origin of the pipe organ and the song too in the western asia is the ancestor of the popsichord and clavichord which has evolved into the piano the instrument called zuna suna or tepyeongso is the parent of the oboe and it is widely known that the wood of western asia is the prototype of the lute the western medieval instrument 그리고 동아시아 음악의 이러한 공통점은 세계 음악의 다양성을 높이는 데 중요한 역할을 할 수가 있습니다. 동아시아 음악을 새로운 각도에서 재조명하고 창조적으로 개선할 때 동아시아 음악이 세계 음악사의 발전에 크게 공, 공헌할 수 있으리라고 생각하는 바입니다. This commonality of East Asian music can play an important role in increasing the diversity of world music. I am of the opinion that by re-examining and creatively inheriting from a new angle, East Asian music can contribute greatly to the development of world music history. 그러면 동아시아 음악계가 세계 음악계에서 어떠한 어, 기여할 수 있게 하기 위해서 어떠한 과제가 있는가를 살펴보겠습니다. 어, 중국과 한국, 아시아의 여러 나라들이 근대화 과정에서 유럽 문화에 강력한 영향을 받았습니다. 그래서 음악계는 어, 지금 서양 음악이 굉장히 어, 주류를 이루고 있는 이러한 형태이어서 동아시아 음악계가 아직도 서양 음악의 수입에 굉장히 힘을 쏟고 있는 이러한 형태입니다. For accelerating a greater contribution of East Asian music to the world music history, I would like to present about the common tasks in East Asian musical society. Most countries and ethnic groups in Asia, such as Korea and China, were strongly influenced by European culture during the modernization process. However, the equation that Western music is world music is collapsing. It is anticipated that in the future, music that increases diversity will survive. Nevertheless, the East Asian Music Society is still focusing only on the import of Western music. 어, 미국 유학을 갔다 온 학생들을 만나면 학교에서 한국에서 왔으니 한국 말을 발표해 달라는. 그러한 부탁을 흔히 받았다고 합니다. 그런데 막상 한국에서 그것에 대한 지식이 없어 그대야 자료를 찾아보고 발표를 했더니 예상으로 좋은 반응을 얻어 놀랐다는 고백을 듣기도 했습니다. 이처럼 우리 주위에서 흔히 접할 수 있었던 전통 음악을 남을 통하여 그 가치를 인정받기도 합니다. When I, excuse me, when I meet Korean students. Who have studied in the United States, I often hear that they were requested to present about Korean music or share Korean music since they are from Korea. However, they did not have enough knowledge of Korean traditional music, so they have to search for the data before the presentation, which received unexpectedly good responses. Just like this, we often recognize the value of traditional music of ours that was. commonly encountered around us through other people's lenses. 앞으로 동아시아 사람들은 서로 함께 연대 의식을 가지고 정치 경제 사회 문화의 상호 이해를 더욱 증진시켜야 할 것입니다. 이를 위해서는 먼저 각국의 음악 학자들이 자국 음악에 대한 이해를 높이고 자국 음악에 대한 올바른 지식과 평가 작업이 이루어져야 한다고 생각합니다. I believe it is demanded that in the future 
East Asian Shifada, East Asian Music Society and the East Asian Music Scholars should further promote better political, economical, sociological and cultural mutual understanding with an intense sense of solidarity. To this end, I believe that musicologists from each nation should firstly enhance their understanding of their national, national music for sake of properly recognizing and evaluating their own music. 그동안 유럽이나 미국의 관점에서 어, 유럽 음악 학교의 관점으로 동아시아 음악을 바라봤기 때문에 동아시아 음악에 대한 올바른 인식과 평가가 어려움을 어, 얻기도 했습니다. 그래서 어, 어, 전통 음악이 좀 미개한 음악이라는 그러한 생각도 갖는 학자도 있습니다. 그러나 동아시아 각국의 음악 학자들은 전통 음악을 스스로 재조명하여 창조적으로 개성하고 그 바탕 위에서 유리 음악을 자주적으로 사용할 때 잠재력을 가지고 있는 동아시아 민족 음악이 세계 음악사에 공헌할 수 있다고 생각합니다. 네,감사합니다. Since East Asian music Furthermore, it was even considered as an unknown music by the musicologist. But I argue that musicologists from East Asian countries, I want to elaborate that musicologists from East Asian countries hold the opinion that when traditional music is re-examined and inherited creatively and foreign music is voluntarily accepted on the basis of it, East Asian ethnic music with potential can contribute to the history of world music phenomenally. Thank you very much. With this opinion, I believe the, the event like today would contribute greatly for the better recognition of the, and the development of this notion. So I am greatly hoping for the more constant constant held of the event like today's. Thank you very much. Thank you. Richard, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, there's some slight delay in. Okay, so today's topic um, I'm discussing is the musical instrument learning situation in Hong Kong teenagers under the epidemic situation. 
Um, before I start, a uh, special thanks, a special compliment to my friend Kahu Lao, who is also um, in the venue, who inspired me a lot on the topic um, of the day, and he also helped me a lot in designing the survey questions that I'm going to share with you uh, later. All right, so long story short, let's begin now. Um, the COVID-19 epidemic has been lasting for almost three years since January 2020. It has a tremendous effect on all aspects of our life, including the way we pursue our interest in classical music. No matter you're professional, you're an amateur, or you're the stage manager, or you're the organizer of concerts. As an amateur or orchestra player, I suffer a lot from suspension of rehearsals and concerts. No matter I'm playing in it or I'm attending concerts, some of the orchestra players are also teaching musical instruments, not just like my friend. As they are as a full-time or part-time job, the pandemic situation has a far more long-lasting effect in their career and development of amateur orchestra in Hong Kong. So I'm not going to talk about career, uh, but more on the effect of the, the orchestra development, especially those uh, amateur ones um, in Hong Kong. So under the the fear of recent infection of COVID-19 virus and its variations, the Hong Kong government implements a series of preventive measures, um, policies, regulation to control the spread of the virus in the city. These restrictions include wearing of face masks in any outdoor, indoor public uh, venue, limiting the number of people in group activities suspension of schools as well as any kind of entertainment venues like concert halls um, since February 2020. The Hong Kong government adjusted the pandemic restrictions in line with the infection situation in the city. Um, you can imagine if the infection is getting more serious, more cases than they will tighten the other end, if it's getting uh, less case, then they will uh, loosen it. So together with the fear of infection from local citizens and pandemic controls is seriously affecting people learning musical instruments. Our focus today is on the effect of COVID-19 epidemic on Hong Kong teenagers learning for musical instruments and how it affects the future of amateur orchestra in the city. So I create a questionnaire sending to a musical instrument teachers in Hong Kong to understand their teenage students learning situation under the epidemic. Questions um, are listed below, so I read it out and share with you. The first question, do you have teenager students in age between six and 21? The second is percentage of online teaching during school suspension. The third question is the percentage of students suspending their musical instrument learning during the school shutdown period. The fourth one is average percentage of hours of learning reduced during the epidemic. And the fifth one is is it impacting students' instrument uh, learning? The sixth question is, what are the impacts to students' learning? The seventh question, any other impacts not mentioned about open-ended? And the eighth question is, any students joining school or amateur orchestra? And ninth question, a percentage reduction in hours of rehearsals and performance. And tenth is, do you think the epidemic is affecting the students joining orchestra? And eleven. Question, what are the impacts to students' participation in orchestra city? Last but not least, any other impacts not mentioned about? So um, from 12 questions, we've got lots of insights um, from teachers around. So um, I'm going to share my findings um, in the following part. So from 2020 onwards, more than 50% of the respondents' students learn musical instrument online during closure of their schools by order of the education department under the Hong Kong government. So during the closure of schools, students are not allowed to return to school for any regular classes and extracurricular activities. Schools have, schools have to spend, suspend all musical instruments, classes and orchestra rehearsals. While some schools, they uh, have some uh, remediation like making the classes online or students attending their own private uh, instrumental classes in person. 
Well, um, you know, sometimes parents, they also worry about the risk of infection. So they just arrange their children's private class online. So it is still possible to play string and percussion instruments with face masks, but you can imagine it is not the case for wind and brass instrument. How can you play wind and brass instrument with face mask? So it is not surprised to find out uh, more wind and brass instrument classes are conducted online than string and percussion instruments. That also explains the variation of percentage of teenagers engaging in online musical instrument classes during the academic. So as a result of suspension of schools and extracurriculum activities, over 40% of the respondents have more than half of their students suspended or terminated their musical instruments learning. That might also be due to the unavailability of online classes as a substitute. So um, even students, they continue to pursue um, their learning. There's an average of 30 to 40% of reduction in learning hours compared with uh, the pre-pandemic situation. So most of the respondents, most of the teachers, they agree that the academic has certain impact on their students' learning on mystical instruments. The major impacts are slowdown of the learning progress, uh, reduction of practicing hours, uh, students giving up learning musical instruments, loss of interest in learning their musical instruments, poor examination performance results, as well as their emotional issues when they are having the lessons. So respondents who are participating in school or amateur orchestra record a 50% reduction in hours attending rehearsals and performance. The major reason is um, the many academic preventive measures do not allow any extra uh, curriculum activities in schools and the social distance is of 1.5 meters away from each player. So you can imagine there's no such venue is really large enough to accommodate all orchestra players who is 1.5 meters apart, considering the spaces, limited spaces in Hong Kong. And the, the impacts are players, they had a decline in their skills and level when compared with pre-pandemic time. Students spending less time on their practice. Students are unwilling to join rehearsals and performance, and even they just quit the whole track. So um, after sharing with you all the questionnaires, uh, the results I found from the questionnaires, um, I'm going to project what I found in the future development of amateur orchestra in Hong Kong um, by using the past analysis. Uh, sorry, I, I'm a business school graduate, so I always like uh, different business tools to make the analysis. So the Hong Kong government is gradually releasing the epidemic preventive measures like cancellation of hotel quarantines for travelers entering Hong Kong and resuming all schools in the territory, which is really favorable for resuming the orchestra activities like rehearsal and performances. Um, but you have to note that um, the current political atmosphere induced a lot of citizens uh, to move away from the city. They just um, immigrate to other European or American countries. Many schools, they are reporting that they are losing significant numbers of students and teachers to other countries. So it really reduces the number of players and teachers for orchestra. Um, so at the time being, um, the lucky thing is there's no sign the government is um, inserting its influence on the performance repertoire uh, for schools and amateur orchestra. At least they don't force you to play some revolutionary common songs uh, in each of the uh, concerts. So um, on the economic side, the economic downturn in local economy due to long lasting epidemic have greatly influenced the future development of orchestra. I think the most direct one is reducing uh, parents' income. So make their children uh, reducing the numbers of hours spending on learning musical instruments and even quitting their learning to save money for other expenses in their family. So economic downturn also has the impact of uh, the funding received from the business sector and the Hong Kong government. Okay, so the effects they further multiplies the reduction of players um, would reduce the number of amateur orchestras and in the city long run. So the local society is still living under fear of infection. 
um, so leading to fewer players willing to attend or rehearsals. And you know, there's a vaccination, vaccination pass a restriction imposed by the Hong Kong government. So people are less intent to attend the concerts. And you know, the current technology still makes the virtual learning or musical instrument or even virtual rehearsal very difficult. Um, so you can imagine um, it's impossible to replace the rehearsals by the virtual one. So um, to conclude, um, despite the musical instrument learning, uh, orchestra rehearsals and performance are recovering gradually um, in the lower half of this year. There are lots of uncertainties of the future developments of amateur orchestra in Hong Kong. Um, I'm, I'm, I would like to say it's really difficult to, uh, to estimate the long-term effect on the number and quality of orchestra players at the time being, but um, it is the fact that uh, we lost a lot of uh, players uh, at the time being. So uh, not to mention the local economic development that will further um, enhance the pace of um, recovery of any of the strategic development here. So uh, this is my sharing here. Um, thank you. Any questions? Oh, so, sorry, Professor Song, I can't, I can't hear you. Oh, Song Jiao, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Richard, can you hear me? Oh, now I can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Well, it seems that there is a person 问你问题。呃 ，OK OK。As we as we know the 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 quality of music training of the teachers is about the future development of the music, especially in the Southeast Asia. Uh, I have a question for you. Um, what should the government should do in uh, in order to help the school or amateur? Orchestra to face the changes that you mentioned. Yeah, um, I think the government should really support more. Um, they should hold more classes. Um, I'm not sure for those who come from Hong Kong. Um, there, there's a department called Music Office. They hold a lot of musical instrument um, classes before. And I see the sizes of classes getting smaller and less uh, students get trained. Um, I, I don't think that's a good sign, but uh, the government should really um, provide more such kind of services to nurture more future um, musical instrument talents, uh, music lovers. Um, yeah, they should start from, from the beginning, um, getting more kids, more children, getting involved in the musical instrument learning and getting uh, it more in more schools and primary schools and secondary school. Uh, maybe they have to spend some efforts combining some amateur orchestras or providing some direct funding to support the, um, the long lasting the sustainability of their future development. That's my point of view. Okay, okay. okay. 谢谢 Richard 的回答，呃，因为时间有点那个延后，所以我们现在呢就下来，呃，下面一个呃演讲，呃 ，Our next speaker will be 呃于道昌，呃，于道昌教授，可是他是用那个呃 video 来去做呃 present 他的 speech 的，啊、呃，所以我们现在呃请行政单位来放放个 video。Music educator. I have degrees in electrical engineering and also violin performance. I like to talk about this, this important question that's been on my mind for many years and also relate this to our music education. 
And the question is, what is the best age of learning Bronze Violin Concerto? And the dilemma, the future of our music education. Bronze Violin Concerto is the ultimate goal for every violinist. It's both technically and also musically challenging. I learned this concerto when I was 24 years old. And I'd like to share three personal stories of mine with this concerto. The first time I heard this concerto, I was only freshman in Peabody Conservatory. And I heard this uh, graduate school student, his name is Terry, one of the most brilliant person I've ever met because during the school time, I learned that he actually has three degrees. Um, he has a violin degree, he has a piano degree, he also has a pre-med degree. And right now he is working as a part-time doctor and also a consular master in a symphony orchestra in Canada. So he went up to play the violin concerto, bronze violin concerto, when he was 23 years old. And my teacher, Victor Danchenko, actually made a special announcement before he walked up to the stage to perform it. My teacher said, Terry very bravely played this concerto when he was 18 at Encore. Encore is a, a very famous string festival camp. And uh, he said that was a disaster. And five years later, he's going to play it again. Let's see how it goes. I was shocked to hear this introduction. Of course, Terry played it well, but that my teacher's introduction stuck in my mind for many, many years. And I actually had to talk to him about why he had to make that announcement. I will relate to this uh, later in my uh, presentation. The second story I heard uh, from of mine is um, a master class I heard many years ago in Taiwan. There was a young 15 year old student, very talented. I heard about him. Uh, he won a lot of competitions in Taiwan and is a very talented uh, young player. So he went up to play the bronze violin concerto. Before he could start playing, uh, the violinist, the concert violinist who was teaching the master class stopped him, asking, how old are you? And the student answered, he is 15 years old. And the violinist who was teaching the master class stopped this master class and made a personal uh, reference. Um, the reference was, he said that he learned the bronze violin concerto when he was 23. And he said, what are you doing learning this at 15? And he didn't allow the student to play this concerto at all for the master class. Instead, he asked him to play just scales. And the third story is one of the most discouraging story I ever heard. Uh, just over the summer, I met this uh, high school senior student who went to Germany to audition for universities. And uh, she also prepared the bronze violin concerto for her auditions. But at every school, every school, none of them allowed her to play this concerto for her audition. Of course, she didn't get into any schools and it was very discouraging for her. She asked me why they didn't allow her to play, but Taiwan, she could play this and win competitions and, and also auditions. And I also like to uh, relate to this in later part of my presentation. Why do most professional musicians and pedagogues consider playing difficult and mature musical compositions at a young age not acceptable? I get uh, four important reasons. Number one, of course, is physical and technical maturity. Number two is intellectual musical maturity. Number three is life experience. Number four, I think it's also important, is uh, a healthy and positive attitude. But why do some of the young players who can actually play difficult, mature musical compositions well? Let me jump a little bit. 
prodigy. There are many, many famous prodigies in currently performing or entering competitions. And I'd like to talk about one that's been on the news recently. Uh, Yung Chang Lim, he's a pianist from South Korea. He was recently the winner of the two, 2022 Van Cliburn International Piano Competition. And he's currently studying at Korea National University. He's only 18 years old. This is a screen capture of a news article regarding his uh, performance in the competition. He played Rachmaninoff, uh, their piano concerto, and everybody is raving about his performance. Not just being technically competent, but also musically uh, thoughtful with a very fresh interpretation. So I check into Yun Chang Ling's uh, personal story and wanted to know how he reached this uh, musical maturity at such a young age. So in one of his interview, he said, in order to perform this Dante Sonata, a very challenging piece, he read and memorized the entire Dante's Divine Comedy, which I read in college but he read it when he was 16 years old. And the other uh, interesting uh, interview that he mentioned, um, that's uh, his own personal experience from the competition. He said, I don't think I was in my best condition at the Clyburn competition. I entered the stage thinking about Carl Sagan's Pale Blue Dot, but I couldn't help being nervous and couldn't show 100% of me. I had to create more universe and there was a possibility, but it didn't come out easily. Carl Sagan is an astronomer. astronomer. Most musicians don't uh, read anything or anything related to astronomy, but not only he could relate, but he actually drew up this very specific image. Uh, the pale blue dot, uh, is a book inspired by the Voyager 1 uh, probe. Uh, the probe sent back, uh, when it was far away, sent back this uh, photo of Earth in a lonely black uh, universe with a, just a little dot showing a slight faint blue color. And Carl Sagan wrote this book, wanted humanity to see how vulnerable we are and how lonely we are in this cosmic ocean. I made a little diagram showing how a uh, project like student over the years can accelerate quickly based on how efficient they learn. And as one can see, it's incredibly fast. But what makes them learn a lot faster. How do they do it? Can we learn? Psychologist Raymond Cattell introduced this uh, really interesting and very widely accept, accepted uh, categories of our intelligence in 1963. First one is fluid intelligence. Fluid intelligence is the ability to develop techniques for solving problems and learning and it decreases with age. The other one is crystallized intelligence, the ability to use acquired knowledge for problem solving and learning, and it increases with age. So for a younger person, it learns things quite quickly and comes up with its own ways of solving problems. And uh, as we get older, as we accumulate more experiences and knowledge and we start to use them and which helps us solve problems and learning in a completely different way and it works side by side but it it increases as we get older so the more life experience we have the better we can utilize crystallized intelligence let's go back to the bronze violin concerto so what's 
What's the best age of learning this concerto? So a young student uh, utilize a lot more fluid intelligence uh, to learn this concerto. The learning direction is quite linear. When an older student who learns this concerto, uh, it utilizes a lot more crystallized intelligence. Uh, he or she can use the acquired knowledge for solving a lot of problems, both technically and uh, musically. And it works in a non-linear fashion. Uh, our current music education uh, is quite linear uh, due to several reasons. Uh, I think the, the first reason is the, our current evaluation testing methods. Uh, and the second is that uh, music uh, is, has become, in 21st century music, has it become even more dispensable, diverse, and intricately integrated in our daily lives. So the students are no longer learning just music in class, but they are learning music in a, a lot of different, from different sources, uh, especially social media. Um, so we, our education is a little outdated, uh, try to incorporate some of the things that we uh, experiencing in the 21st century. And the other is that our music educator has become more specialized, uh, is more focused on specific areas instead of uh, a teaching a general class that's both on uh, composition, analysis, performing, or perhaps conducting, or how to teach it. Um, so how do we counter these uh, dilemmas? And how do we learn from those prodigies? Or how do we accelerate the development of crystallized intelligence so a student can really utilize every little bit of information they acquire every day at school in other areas of expertise into music? I have been trying to incorporate these elements into my teaching for the last few years. Uh, science behind music and musical instruments. Uh,因为那个有老师的呃video比较长哈，有点那个超过时间。呃，如果各位有什么问题啊，呃，是可以交给交给我们主办单位哈，我们就呃会透过我们去呃交给于老师来回答。啊，好，那个our Thank you. Uh, I have prepared the PowerPoint. Yeah, so I will make my presentation as by the PowerPoint. So my topic uh, uh, is preconcert speech, and preconcert speech is an uh, an observation of education and the distribution for Asian Symphony Orchestra, uh, because uh, this is a very special way to introduce the music before the concert, and we know as we know. The music we are playing by the orchestra is uh, 
is derived from the European country. So when the, it was transferred to American or to Asia, there is some culture gaps of it. So many people, they need some, some bridge to make them to know the music best, better. So the next, Okay, so pre-concert speech, in order to make concert repertoire more comprehensible by audience, pre-concert speeches are more customized, be held before concert hall or around the world. I was invited to make pre-concert speeches by the Academy of Taiwan Strings, the National Symphony Orchestra, and the National Taiwan Symphony Orchestra, and the Taipei Philharmonic Orchestra from 1992 till now. So it's about almost 30 years experience. So what is pre-concert speeches? Pre-concert speeches or pre-concert talk is a short lecture for the audience for concert who attend earlier to the theater. Focus on the repertoire of concert in order to make a comprehensive preview of the music to be performed. Uh, it regularly takes 20 to 30 minutes sometimes also held for over 40 to 60 minutes before the concert. A good pre-concert speech will make the audience familiar of the concert repertoire and the focus on the point of whole concert. Uh, this is an example, just a short example. Okay, okay. Uh, I would like to introduce some example on orchestra in United States. We found there are different titles for pre-concert speech. Uh, as we know, uh, when the Euro European Symphony Orchestra, they are transferred to American land, they, they are different culture background. So uh, they have some educational program for the concert. So I can I can say that pre-concert speech it was built first by American orchestra. So Shai Zhang. Yeah. Uh, for saving time I just print the screen for show you how the pre-concert uh, talks or pre-concert speech by different orchestra. So let's see, that's a, a San Francisco Symphony Inside Music. Okay, uh, so they have this kind of uh, pre-concert talk before the concert. Okay, they also have the pre-concert conversations by Chicago Symphony Orchestra. They have different kind of way to make it. So uh, sometimes there's they are held by one hour and 15 minutes before the concert. Uh, 
As we know, the pre-council talk in Taiwan, they always are 30 minutes before the concert because our concerts always earlier than the European or American uh, orchestra. Our concert always uh, begin at uh, 30 minutes past the seven in the evening. But uh, as European concerts, they also, they always begin by eight o'clock or 30 minutes past eight, even nine o'clock. Yeah, so they can have the pre-concert conversation more earlier. Okay, next one, Shai Zhang. This is a St. Louis Symphony Orchestra. They also have pre-concert conversation. Shai Zhang. Oh, this is the Philadelphia Orchestra pre-concert conversation. Uh, because this is uh, held by during the pandemic period, so this is a live stream concert. When they give this live stream concert, they make the pre-recorded uh, conversation, sometimes by the Zoom, to introduce some special repertoire of the concert. Shai Zhang. This is uh, the Boston Symphony Orchestra. They call that Friday preview. It's special because the Boston Symphony Orchestra, they have a concert at the afternoon of the Friday. This is uh, not possible for some Asian orchestra because it is office time. It's not the free time for us. And this is Los Angeles Philharmonic. Uh, they call it a bit live. So uh, the upbeat is before the major beginning. So it's also the name for a pre-concert talk. Shai Zhang. So uh, now we are survey about the pre-concert speech in Asian Symphony Orchestra. Asian Symphony Orchestra are more younger than the orchestra in Europe or United States. The local audience need more guide for listening Western orchestra music. So pre-concert speech will be an important tool for education and communication, the music lover. Shai Zhang. The orchestra management of Taiwan, Malaysia, and Singapore arranged pre-concert speech before each concert for audience. But the all orchestra of Japan, and Korea, we found very few examples. Uh, I think maybe the orchestra culture, the orchestra concert, they have a long history in Japanese culture. So maybe Japanese audience, they are more familiar of the repertoire of the symphony orchestra's concert. So maybe they don't need too much uh, this kind of education. Shai uh, Zhang. This is, uh, I found one example of a Singapore Symphony Orchestra free concert hall. This is also a live stream, so they are preset, pre recorded. can hear it really in the music, you know, it's, it, I mean, a lot of people, reports are saying it's autobiographical, a lot, but he, he does give us something loud, you know, it's this uh, effect of, you know, you know, someone, this uh, KGB, someone, <coughs> loan shark, I don't know, someone at the door, just knocking. The temp yeah. So we found the the conductor of the orchestra, they sometimes they are make the pre-concert talk for the orchestra. And this is one example of the Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra. They also have pre-concert talk. Shai Zhang. And this one, I, th I think is very delicate. It make many efforts to make a video and they make the motion picture for it.
，乐曲听起嚟优雅简洁，但难以想象到标题讲嘅肌肉同埋红豆豆嘅男性，呢啲反而令到听众带嚟咗一份惊喜，留下咗深刻嘅印象，令呢一种优雅。要停止吗？不用。简洁嘅新音乐风格成为咗二十世纪法国音乐嘅标志。好，我们就看到这里。Yeah, so we found a orchestra in Asia. They also make some effort to that the audience. Are more have more interested about the concert they are going to have. So this one is uh, just a new uh, concert. It's a con opera concert of Salome by Tokyo Symphony Orchestra. It just uh, before, uh, but before, just yesterday night and uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, they make uh, some uh, lecture and uh, make some uh, some some speeches before, and uh, they found some place, and uh, maybe three days or four days before it to make these speeches. Yeah. So, uh, because uh, pre-concert talk is very important for the orchestra. Let's see the next one. Uh, Taipei Symphony Orchestra, uh, Taipei Philharmonic Orchestra, they also make some pre-concert talk and uh, we have made on the Facebook a uh, preview of the concert. Let's see this. Hello, Taipei Orchestra. 今天要来跟各位推荐我们乐团在今年九月二十七号晚上在台北国家音乐厅七点半的演出。这一场的名字叫做 OK。好，时间的关系，我们就到这边。对，呀。对。谢谢。谢谢。啊，那给我我呃呃 ，information 呃 ，interesting。Um, uh, now, uh, I was told that the young people is on time. So, uh, I would like to uh, pass my microphone to you. Mr. Lau, how are you? Hello. 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 哎，哎，哎，哎，你好，你好，你好 ，OK， 来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，um the the hong kong musical view during the pandemic and after the pandemic um um as as you all we know that um for last last two and a half year uh the pandemic has changed um our usual practice of orchestral uh, uh playing or even music making uh, uh, tremendously um Therefore, actually, uh, um, as all we know that uh, what we call the usual practice is not happening anymore. Um, uh, even in Hong Kong now, because we still uh, under the very straight um, policy on the pandemics. For example, uh, um, I mask, uh, we have to wear mask. Um, so, uh, so even in the concert, uh, even for the choir people, they still need to wear masks. So this is quite weird because um, uh, uh, for, the, for the chorus conductor, usually they conduct, usually they sing along with the uh, chorus members. But we nowadays, we still need to wear a mask. Well, let's, let me talk about um, during the pandemic, there's a lot of uh, new business uh, happening in Hong Kong. It's because of this uh, pandemic. Uh, first of all, um, 
well, as we all know that um, uh, during the pandemic that we, we cannot uh, um, have the usual context of, of, of peoples. So, so everything we change online. So this term of online become a huge business in Hong Kong nowadays. So, uh, um, so of course the, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, 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 merchandise which is related to online business is, is like getting a lot of on the market. And, and of course um, now the situation is getting better but still the situation is not um, back to what uh, the, the, the post pandemic before, uh, like before. So um, like in Hong Kong nowadays, we, uh, for the student, uh, they used to take the royal exam and also the exam from the Central Conservatory from Beijing uh, for the Chinese instruments. So this is one of the huge event for, for the music students in Hong Kong. Nowadays, the whole exam become online too. Uh, some of them online, but but majority of them, uh, you need to submit the videos, and therefore, uh, in Hong Kong now, there's a lot of um, newly established company to do uh, a video recording business. Not only recording, or not only sound recording, but a video. So um, there's a lot of mini hall in Hong Kong um, um, that you can do. A video recording of your playing. So this is for exam, for the competition, and mm -hmm. also when when I talk about competitions, um, there are lots of um, online competition happening. And when when we see the name of the competition, you thought it's from Vienna, you thought it's from Europe, you thought you thought it's from the United States, but actually not. It, it, it's it's from Hong Kong. So. Uh, um, but they all do it online. Everything is online. So, so you need to uh, submit the video. So that really makes the uh, video recording become a, one of the major business nowadays in the um, Hong Kong's musical field. So uh, not only that, um, for the symphony orchestra, like Hong Kong Philharmonic, uh, um, we, during the pandemic time, we want to keep the music connect with the audience. And then later we found out that we don't have enough um, music videos of our own performance. So of course we can use our own old videos. But all the old videos, perhaps you can search in, 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 on, on YouTube and um, on many other medias, but if it's not new to the audience, what we're trying to do is to keep with the audience and uh, with our the most updated performance and level of playing. So um, before the end of the pandemic, when the, when the government sort of like take it easy and, and change the policy on, on the gatherings, Hong Kong Philharmonic start to make video with our audience in, in order to play on the internet for the audience to keep you know, have contact and connect with the orchestra. So I remember I conduct about three concerts of Hong Kong Philharmonic Orchestra. We, we dress up like, like concerts, uh, and, but also except the wind and brass player, everybody wear a mask. And, and we, there's no audience down there. We pretend that there's an audience. We also do all the uh, 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 courtesy of uh, a concert. So we take bow, whatever, we in and out. So, but no audience. So, um, and then um, nowadays, um, we have a lot of meetings to, to discuss about what should we plan for um, after the pandemic. So we, we, we realized that um, we have to treasure our each performance, which is so important and, and, and so essential because you have no idea when will be the next pandemic coming. So, so we, we never been to, in our life, we, we never been to this, this uh, uh, pandemic before, this COVID-19. So we, we, we don't even want to guess what's happening in the future. So Hong Kong Philharmonic has a sign and hire uh, in our in-house in full-time video team 
from the uh, uh, last September, beginning from last September, we just video record all our concerts. Okay, so every con every single concert we recorded. So not only a not only an archive recording, but we also do it as a formal uh, uh, um, video recording in order to keep every of our performance to um, for the future. You know, may, maybe not not play immediately, but um, like if this is happening in the future, at least we still have video to to let our audience to enjoy it every week. And and any time, so um, so nowadays um, the recording business in Hong Kong has become one of the major uh, uh, media and and business in Hong Kong. So when talking about recording a symphony concert, of course, um, before in Hong Kong is not as much as Taiwan probably, because. Um, uh, why I'm saying that because in Hong Kong I can only count about one to two score readers. When you're recording a symphony orchestra, you 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 it's different from other commercial or, or other entertainment recordings. Uh, a symphony orchestra is much more complicated. You know, you have to put the right camera to the right right instrument, and and the 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 picture has to match with the the music. So so when we talk about score reader. So at the beginning, uh, uh, um, I have to hire someone from from Taiwan to to do the uh, score reading. So now now we are trying to uh, train our own score readers, and we are now we have um, uh, score readers from from different uh, field. So they people can at least they can read score, and then to do the the orchestral recording. So this is um. Like uh, um, a, a whole new sort of business happening in Hong Kong, so nowadays uh, um, Hong Kong is still very tight. Like even choir concerts, all the choir members need to wear a mask, and and some of the uh, 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 symphony concert, if the the conductor is from overseas, that he or she is still required to wear a mask. But um, of course, we have no idea how how long we is this policy will will remain, but. Um, Hopefully, um, what what we are doing for the uh, uh, video business can uh, keep the music going and and keep the live performance um, ongoing for the society of Hong Kong. Yeah. So I think this is what I want to say today. Yeah. Okay. Is there any comments or questions? What? Uh, is there? Uh, is there oh, okay. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so
所以如果他能够如果能加入我们这个加入我们这个呃呃这个叫做中央，因为中央论坛，论坛给我们给我们那个正面的那个能量，谢谢。哎哎哎！你说吗？有机会，朋友要跟你讲话。啊啊啊 ！I Tro Liang is also a former player of Taipei Philharmonic Orchestra. Yeah, we unfortunately have the chance to play with him on stage. He's a very virtuoso violin player. Well, thank you, thank you so much. And, and, and actually, I have, I have, I have so much pressure for my uh, seven years in stay in Taiwan, and 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 actually, my music, my music career is starting from uh, Taiwan. So um, right, right after I graduated from from Julia, and and um, actually, um, I feel like like. But nowadays, especially after the pandemic, I think、uh, music education is very important, and also how to resume the society back to what we used to be is very important because actually we have and two and a half years of gap of everything stuck. So I think nowadays is the is the right time to really push up to make up all the gap, you know. If if、uh, if you are in in teaching in 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 a school or in a university, as you can know, the music standard for last two years is is like it's a gap. So so、um, even the society, so like in Hong Kong in here,、uh, unfortunately, the Hong Kong government and also the、uh, the the mainland government, they they put a lot of funding on trying to resume the、um, all the musical. Activities, not only music, also activities. So they encourage people to use the government funding to do whatever they want to do. So、uh, I, I'm 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 so glad that I I was selected、uh, to to this post, so I can help and, and encourage musicians to use government's funding to fulfill their dream and to make up to what they have lost、uh, during the、uh, pandemics. So、um, hopefully, and, and this this funding is also included cultural exchange, which is、um, sending uh, uh, musicians to other countries or welcome musicians from other places to come in Hong Kong to have cultural exchange. That the the what the funding is also covers this area. So it would be great if、um, all of them keep in touch. And and maybe one day we will share the same page on on different cities. So I'm、uh, looking forward to、um, to seeing both of you face to face and share the stage. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. 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 Hey, 철구 협회장님, 전 교수님, 지금부터 10분 가량 쉬는 시간 있겠습니다. 알겠습니다. 네, 잘하셨습니다. 네, 수고하... 고맙습니다. 수고하셨습니다. 감사합니다. 그리고 통역을 멋지게 해줘서 고맙습니다. 아, 감사합니다, 전 교수님. 
是注意。我想用麦克风。Hello, um, I am going to present a paper. The topic of the paper is the sublimation process of traditional background music in my recent orchestral works. Uh, since uh, Taipei Philharmonic Orchestra commissioned me to write a little piece next year, uh, there's a piece for uh, puppet theater and symphony orchestra. So uh, therefore, uh, the topics of my speech today uh, mainly focus on uh, Buda and uh, and also uh, the Beiguan music. Uh, I have prepared the English uh, uh, speech content, uh, so maybe uh, the um, uh, the musician from uh, overseas can also watch uh, the uh, uh, the monitor then you can see my uh, English uh, translations of my, of my speech. Uh, the most popular type of uh, puppetry in Taiwan is Bu Dai Si, uh, which literally means uh, cove sex opera. Uh, the, uh, the academic term of uh, Bu Dai Si is uh, growth puppetry uh, opera, in which growth puppets are operated from below and worn on the hand of the puppeteers. 所以说，呃，我在台湾里面哈，呃，布袋戏是非常那个流行的。布袋戏不就这个就把它直接翻译就是布袋啊 c l o t h e sex opera。那么当然要也有很多呃学者把它翻成为是那个掌中戏哈。所以那个呃，我的新的这个作品最主要就是写给呃这个传统的剧种跟呃大型的交响乐团。那么我们每次观看布袋戏的时候，我们只会发现到里面有四种最重要的呃表演艺术的元素。There are four main performing arts elements in the 布袋戏 performance. The first one is the puppeteer's skillful mani manipulations of the cloth puppets. The second one is the accompaniment of the backstage ensemble. The third one is the story line. And the last one is the spoken parts of the voice actor. So in the middle, there are four main performing elements. The first one is the accompaniment of the voice actor. 第四个就是，通常在这个演布袋戏的时候，都是有一个呃人来去这个呃讲话的，讲述那个剧情的。那么呃、uh, ，in Taiwan almost ninety percent of the music played by the backstage ensemble to accompany 呃、uh, the 布袋戏 performance is 北管。所以说，在传统的那个呃、uh, 这个嗯、um, 流传下来的布袋戏，通常都是。呃，利用北管音乐来去做他们布袋戏的表演。当然，在更早其实有很多潮州来的音乐也有啊。可是呢，到到后来发展成为呢，大部分都是九，呃，都是利用北管的音乐。所以，我们今天最主要的讲到都是说北管音乐在我最近的这些管弦乐曲里面的使用的，或者是怎么样把它变形的这个情况。北管 music。Is widespread in Taiwan and can always be heard in traditional theatrical performances, uh, deity processions, street parades, and religious ceremonies. So, so we in Taiwan, we often hear it in our daily life. We often hear it in Beiguan music because it is often used in many religious performances. Even there are many saints, these saints, or in the street, 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 or in the street. My work is about the street. So, the street parades and some religious parades are used in the street. So, the street parades are used in the street. So, the street parades are used in the street. So, the street parades are used in the street. Dating back to 2013, 
I start using background music as primary raw materials in my orchestral composition. From, uh, going back to 追找到2013年 罗家就是说他里面我就会用到有一个北管的曲牌叫做五官风入松那么他有很多故事 然后到了下来,还有刚琴协奏曲,可是当然它是鼓是写给钢琴跟国乐团,我今天没有打算在这边发表 布偶的团给我的这个最主要的一个北管的这个Melody都是在里面。2022年就是今年也是我刚刚才发表完就是强勇交响乐团20周年,他就是委托我写了一个正和下西洋,我一样是用到了一些北管的曲牌。那么到2
。那么到这个 second stage 就是说 model c h a n g e 就是很多时候我觉得北管的一一些那个调性啊，哎，它的 key 啊，啊，可能跟那个呃我们的传统的呃我们传统的这个。唢呐的 key， 如果我们今天打开这个 YouTube 听很多传统的北管音乐的唢呐，特别是，因为我有很多时候要去听写，我要听到他们的唢呐，我的 my god， 都说全部是声发掉了，<笑>所以说这个地方我不绝对不能够把它原封不呃不动搬到我们这个交响乐团来，不然的话那个 w o w l y 的那个就会觉得很别扭了哈，呃，所以变成为我通常都会把它的调改一改，甚至有些 mode， 所以说有些那个传统的他们的调的调这个调门呢、啊，我觉得不是很好听，我会把它改过。那么第三呢，就是说我这经过选人段以后，我会可能会把它的段的每一段的这个那、这个呃这个旋律为 with。reshuffle 就就是我的为为为改变它的次序，那原来它是 A B C D E， 我可能把它 A D C C B B D D E A A A B 这种可能会把它改掉，让改到我喜欢的一个呃 melody 啊。那么第四个就是说啊，另外可能会配合这个剧情，你看可能我会把每一段。中间的 C 和 D， 我来延长，我觉得这个做加以这个发展，另外被配合这个剧情，可能经常打斗啊，或者或者什么，所以会有一些种这个额外的变化。那么最后第五、第六才是我们通常所谓的编曲啊，把它我定了那个 melody 以后，我找呃为把它配合声，然后更重要的配器，因为。大家如果听过北管音乐，大一辈我们有听到哈，就最传统的北管音乐都是基本上都是 monophonic 的，都都是一个单线条的，呃，可能是呃唢呐吹或者是一些那个呃呃弦乐拉这样子，所以是非常不大适合放在全部交给交响乐团，不然的话就很浪费这个那么好的资源，所以通常都会把它重新配器。So 呃，对，嗯。我一定要经过这六个不同的那个 procedures。那我们下来的 video 呢？我们先来播一个 video 啊，就是说这个 video 我已经非常呃那个算到我们的时间可能会呃为这个比较好节省，就是说啊，先来 example one， 就是这个 example 就是那个布袋戏的呃团队给我的 video。那这个就是呃，会讲到另外一个问题啊，就是说传统的布袋戏，呃，好，我们先我们先稍微 stop 一下。这传统的布袋戏呢，是由呃后台的呃真的演奏家来演奏北管音乐。可是我们刚刚听到的是录音，对不对？这代表现在 modern time 在那个现代的这这个呃这个社会里面啊，这些原来的北管的音乐家都已经凋零了。啊，可可能去世啊，可能退休啊，呃、啊，很难把它再传承下来，所以他们会改成为用录音。所以我们是用现场的那个看到现场的布袋戏，通常都会听到录音，很少，好像很远、很远、很很很古早的这样子会有这个真人演奏。好，那我们 example two， 呃 ，example two， 哎 ，example two， 就是呃刚刚听到的这个旋律，我放在那个最近的这个呃。呃，这个呃《白蛇传》的这个里面啊，你大家听听看这个呃旋律，我把它改成了怎么样？
，好吧？这个就这个 stop 就这边啊啊，所以我们听到这个音乐，因为它这个是这个剧情啊，是 happy ending 啊，就是那个法海就就最后决定要宽恕那个。青蛇跟白蛇不呃没有把他们杀了，所以整个都是很开心的一个 ending， 然后都很欢心的，是比较这个 f a n c y 那个呃感感恩的这种感觉啊，所以把原来的那个北管音乐变成了这样。那么最后 example three 啊的，就是我用同样的那个那个北管的旋律，可是用在灯会里面，那个。灯会就是完全又是另外一个故事了，因为那个呃，观光局希望我的我们的音乐要发生。就是这这个感觉跟刚刚布袋戏的那个呃感觉完全不一样。最后一个啊，就是给你们做这个 reference 的，就是这个所谓千秋岁的的这个曲牌呀。我觉得我后来分析是觉得那个连那个布袋戏的公司这个团队给我的都已经经过加工的了。最原始的布袋戏的那个千秋岁的曲牌是长得在这样子。我们 example f o r 播一下。那所以说哈，就是呃，经过这个这个是 example， 就是发现到有一个很那个正常的一个发展的一个呃。途径就是从最原始，经过布袋戏自己，他们都会做一些加工，然后来到另外的一些呃音乐家、作曲家要来做那个加工，这个是呃表演艺术一直都不能够脱离的一种发展的一个路径了，一定是会这样子，那个艺术才会有呃生命哈。好，我的报告在这里为止。谢谢。
he has a PNG network, which is uh, at a part of China, uh, with uh, the Chong Yang, 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 the Chong Suddenly increase in my index. What the team was always not. So the Zhong Guo and Ming Zai Ming Zhao Zhong Yi of the Jisu the Saro. That down chairs at all. That down you do some put on the chairs of Baba. This is what Jinan of Hess. Yeah, we start from the Renaissance. We also want you to keep Hess. Uh, Jinan so the Shen Jinan we call the modern civilization. From the global world, uh, the Asia, uh, China, China actually sometimes we call the area called out as a politics group. I can tell Slack,我讲一句话,就是冰与火,我们是存在的。呃,呃,你要讲好。啊,但是,起码,我们给互相,呃,我们是觉得,这对,我们是一个一,呃,the Very limited 
resources, but if you still focus on the uh, contemporary symphonic poem and, and uh, oriental music uh, <coughs> composition, uh, like uh, Song Yao Guang just mentioned, uh, three to four, the purple <coughs> music, Bu Dai Xi. The first one is Prince Nazar's triumph against the dragon king. Noza, Tana, Tong Kai Tang, Tong Wang Gong. The Noza, Sankai, Tabos, Taiwan, Jay, the Noza is the most popular folk song or the story, folk tale in Taiwan. So, she was a true life, it's a very strong, 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 very strong. 啊，一个，的一个神话的一个角色啊。那第二个呢，我们用齐天大圣美猴王啊 ，Monkey King 孙悟空啊。那这个是在整个亚洲地区也是家喻户晓。那第三个我们是。
in my own job, which is not good. Session three of the uh, this very important forum. The forum is the first one, uh, first one, will be the first one of a thousand forums to come, thousand nine. <laughs> so, the first time to go to the forum will be the first one of a thousand forums to come, thousand nine. So, the first time to go to the forum will be the first one of a thousand forums to come, thousand nine. So, the first time to go to 呃，非常重要的音乐家，大家可以聚在一起。呃，非常荣幸啊，可以在这边，呃，这个让这个会议能够顺利举行。我有这个我们罗团长在旁边呢，呃，这个压着啊，我这个、呃、可以让我们今天李李团长在这边压着，让我们今天可以顺利。那、呃、呃，这个我想我们最后的啊、呃、部分啊，当然可能还是要点 interaction 交流，好，让我们可以在。这个地方，呃，把大家的经历的，今天上午、下午的非常多精彩的音乐的片段创作，我以前听过蛮多，后来才知道，今天的作曲家就是演唱者，而且把不同的音乐在不同的时间里面创造出不同的意涵，这个真的是非常惊人。那、呃、我想，呃，在我们呃这个一起下一次见面之前，我们。还是要经过今天的闭幕的程序。那首先呢，我还是啊、呃、邀请这个啊赖教授啊赖团长，嗯、呃、创办人，呃来到现场跟大家，呃这个可能是重要的时刻，就是说，因为我们现在要相见呢、啊，相沟通，其实不不是那么容易，是要付出非常多的代价。很多人的努力，包括赖教授的很多努力，今天在座很多朋友的努力，才有办法在这边教会。那、呃、我想赖教授是不是我可以邀请你到台前来？呃，不是从这边的连线，这边有呃麦克风，然后啊、呃，可以可以把你心里面的期待，跟你心里面今天会议的回想，啊、呃，来这边跟我们分享，呃，分享来。来教授啊，因为已经呃三十七年，那其实，在筹备是超过一年啊。呃，他是一个啊非常传奇性的一个 legend 的啊，马克思。那他的传奇，其实在啊，我有一点人类学背景，稍微讲一下。他就是在跟大家分享，所以这跟韩国跟这个。因为韩国在稍微早一大概一九几年的时候，一九零零年开始，或者一九二零，他就已经开始前世学堂啊，及及发学堂啊之类，这个开始有近代的开始。那后来一批历史学进来，啊，他们就创立近代的啊。这个差不多在九二几，他到了日本，其实也是一样。那我也认真在那里了。在创同同一学院的前身，也是一批学生，到了日本，然后把西方音乐带进来，啊，带进来，所以最后，那个，他同音乐出了更多有名的，这个，沙迪奥达瓦，啊，这个，台湾稍微晚一点，那为什么台湾稍微晚？因为当时，呃，在在亚洲，除了韩国、日本，其实，呃，整个中国也是受到这个西西方文我刚才讲从文艺复兴时代开始，也是上海、北京这样整个西方文化进来，所以我们才有清朝的呃到五大城去考察，然后后来又送中国上课。大概还是百分百。好，那那些第一个最有名的节目，啊，就是烟，烟火啊，烟火。好，那这个就是很有名的。那当然在上海也有很多节目，可是在台湾不多。台湾是因为当时是
哎呦！所以那时候台湾这方面，哎呦，台湾什么时候开始？台湾也是到战后才开始。那战后其实从屏东开始，屏东高雄开始往南，所以在高雄、屏东，它其实这种呃，因为可能是叫，还没有。好，那我现在讲讲这个，就是说，啊，呃，那台湾晚一点，所以它是战后才开始。那么到二零零零，那之前。包括说这些人，大概也是啊，也是很重要。但他那边可不用，因为他进来讲，我们也没开过台湾，直到他离开为止，离开人事为止，他都待在台湾，待了将近二十年。他只待一个月，他也没有到其他地方去过，所以他就在台湾培养人才。所以你你看现在很多在台湾很有呃成就的中生代的一些，很多是。包括，虽然虽然超过百位教授啊，那或者校长或者音乐院的院长这边啊，那这就是他创造的另外一个契机，有点像延迟学长，有点像同等感，所以他是有那一点的。那我们今天在这边做，其实不是做这么简单的事，在这里其实他就是一个，就看起来就是天时地利人和。我当时所秀那个一九九零年那张。那个是第一次出国，那第一次出国，那条是兵荒马乱，因为大家看起来现在是，其实当时更难。其实我当时是在美国，啊，知道要到啊，行政总监要出国是很很难的，所以我特地赶回台湾啊。那回台湾的时候，因为原来都是这个原因，在国外失联，那我就赶快啊，赶回家。啊，就发现这个我们行政总监晕倒在浴室，啊，赶快送他到到急诊，到马街急诊，啊，救了一条命。啊，其实所以那一次出国其实总监没有没有啊，后来，那这些就是创业是非常困难啊，那现在要维持那就是更难。那呃，不过就是我刚才讲，得到这个资助。哎，这段要翻译吗？呃呃，那不好翻啊。呃，应该写下来，<笑>写下来，然后未来在这个状态上啊。那我结论是啊，那最近要要讲这个，从从哪月份？我是哪一个都高兴，因为弄了半天没有人这样写，大家太忙，所以我只硬着头皮去研究一下音乐。啊，我选了那两个例子。其实他们所讲的音乐美术奖，调性跟和声学跟这个对位法，它是非常严格的，就在讲这个我们现在说的经典音乐，它其实没有包括其他的。所以啊、呃，虽然像安安斯里，还有包括呃那个宣传，他们在奥地利，他们都是奥地利，而且这两个人都刚好前后啊，都是他们都是法律博士。他们都是认真，不过呃多才多艺啊，像那个先生他又是又是指挥又是，不过他他到美国去以后，因为在纳税，所以跑到美国，但是在美国呃是还受到很大的重视，可是，在奥地利反而对排斥，这也是很很有趣的一个。包括在奥地利也也不见得去瓦解，一次大战也可以瓦解，所以在当时可以讲奥奥匈帝国、奥地利帝国，它就是非常相似。这个是从啊以上跟大家分享，所以他讲的每一个非常有意思，在在早些年的文学书局、文学背景啊，对欧洲的文明，它到这个程程度以后，它的乐器制作非常精良啊，已经不是在以前，可是这个在中国是那个战乱，所以那个乐器出来的每每个以音准来讲，每个乐器来都不太一样。就是横跨不同的乐器，所以大家多听一些，它就是啊。那在以上简短报告。哎、欸，我听起来好像这不是闭幕的战士，这是开幕的战士。<笑>所以啊，我们呢、啊、必须预约下一次的。嗯、呃，但是因为我们线上很多朋友，我想戴教授还是最好，尤其是因为要在发力之下，你要不要做一点 show remarks？ 好，你们 English 呀。
예, 오늘 타이완 주최 동아시아 포럼은 동아시아 각국이 공동으로 관심을 가져야 했던 매우 의미 있는 행사입니다. 통역 먼저 해주시죠. 어? 따라서 타이완 피라모니 오케스트라를 중심으로 한 이러한 포럼이 계속 될수 있어서 매우 기쁘게 생각하며 또한 감사의 마음을 표합니다. 이번 포럼을 기점으로 하여 동아시아가 공동적으로 동아시아의 문화 예술의 중요성을 확인하여 아, 확인하게 되었고 또한 미래를 어떻게 준비하며 선도해 나가야 될지에 대해서 우리가 공동으로 고민하는 시간이었다고 생각합니다. 오늘 이 대회를 준비해 주신 이 루창 대표님과 또한 관계자 여러분께 진심으로 감사드리며 어, 또 참여해 주신 모든 만 분들을 오늘 만나게 되어 매우 기쁩니다. 이런 행사가 더욱더 번창해서 우리가 모두 이제 아, 모여서 이 대회가 다시 이루어지기를 기대하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 
mention that I am really for the expansion and development of this delightful event. And I am very looking forward for us to meet again in Rio in the near future. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to invite uh, our Japanese friend, Chun Tao Yu Dai Buzang, Kyo Murashima, to uh, present the closing remark on the Japanese side. Uh, you are welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>我們接著邀請今天最後一位弟母支持的請中央方教授中央方這個代表香港中央方教授啊麥克風在這邊我請你道歉因為你都坐著我請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請請